Okay, thanks again for your patience, guys. We are back. Had a little technical difficulty there with the internet. Got back on as soon as we could. And we're going to go straight into this next match, which is uh, Takamura from Belgium taking on Ryan Hart. Ryan Hart. Now has the German flag by his name, which is fair because he does live in Germany now. Yeah. But yeah, he's always going to be one of us, really. Yeah, of know? course, man. He's a UK guy, really. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <you> <laughs> Using it online, you know, he doesn't want to see, deceive anyone with that connection. Maybe, you know, you, you, he'll play someone from the UK and be like, Ryan, what's going on with the connection, man? If he had the UK flag, of course. That's but, it. That's you know, it. He, just, he doesn't want to uh, cause any mix up there. Mm. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Ken Mirror match. Uh, these guys are doing a connection test at the minute, and it's uh, looking like it's two Kens. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Takamura plays Ken. Um, plays a pretty, pretty style point focused Ken, but he's got a really nice approach to this game. I think this game suits his style more and uh, more, even more than um, the, the Street Fighter 4 did. So it's, I look forward to seeing his Ken in a, at this level, at this far in a tournament. Yeah. I haven't actually seen it. Um, in a tournament because he's an online guy really yeah he? he is yeah I mean um, he, he grinds out online um, mm. I've played him online several times um, but yeah I've, I've yet to see him at, at a tournament setting uh, Ryan did you hit him with the fake cross up that you hit uh, my man with uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I actually did you know what I actually did yeah? I, 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 I think that my last game on my last stream I played this guy Takamura and I hit him with that so oh, that, that, Ken's that, watch that, out that, man that was sick that was so broken man <laughs> yeah man I think Junior Leo um, and anyone would have got hit by that. Like you got when when you play a character as linear as Bison Man, you need to <laughs> come up with these crazy come up with something creative. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, don't want to be. A Once the dash up knee stops working, it's like what well, all you got, you know? Yeah, you, that, that that determines your dictator, your defensive you got, play, and your creativity on offense. Because his offense isn't like it isn't mind it's, blowing. It's, it's, it's great it's damage when he hits you, but yeah, in terms of opening you up, it's not like oh god, Bison's rushing me down. He, block block high, block oh god, low. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Come on, grab. You know he's got, uh, he's got none of that. Yeah, it's it's, you know. it's 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 block or or, or don't. <laughs> so there you go. So um, but yeah. Whereas Ken, on the other hand, you know the guy we're going to be seeing real soon, he has a ton of options under his oh, belt. Oh man, this guy. Oh man, wake up options, uh, neutral options. In fact, um, I saw some setups uh, from an online Ken not so long ago that were based only on cross counter sweep. And all ah. the Kens do dash 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 when they get cross counter sweep for the for the corner carry bar. There are some revolting setups. Oh wow! Do. Some like I had no know, idea. Like hard knockdown, broken setups that you just you just understand now why the hard knockdown is not in this game when you see the stuff that right, right. Some people <laughs> figure out that they can do. Um, so yeah, he's got tons of things he can do. Whereas you know you get cross counter swept by a dictator and you're not really yeah. you're not really too bothered. Yeah. You know? well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He can get a couple of dashes, maybe push it towards the corner, but he's not getting like a unblockable or <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> or like I mean, like a hard to blockable or something. Yeah. So um, I believe all connection tests are done, and these guys are just going to be going straight in real soon, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to have some cool action coming up. Um, wow. Yeah, you've probably got a couple, a couple more minutes, guys. Grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself something to eat. You know, go for a smoke if you need to do whatever. You know, do what you got to do. And um, yeah, the match is going to be coming up real soon, guys. The match is coming up now. Yeah. So. All right. Just taking a sec before we uh, get that final confirmation. Mm -hmm. Enter the game. Uh, who we got in the chat? What do you guys think? So we know um, we know um, Ryan is pretty familiar with the mirror match. He did a first to fifty with uh, what's the German? Oh, with Halle Bell. With Halle Bell. Yeah, really solid Ken. Mm -hmm. Which I think Ryan actually lost um, by by some margin. But since then he's become even better at the mirror match. Yeah, because he played that, and we saw him take out Brent quite convincingly at versus oh, yeah, Ryan last, last month. Yeah, uh, it's a match that he himself has said he likes and is very comfortable in. And it's a match he's played for a long time. I mean, this is a guy who made Ken in 3S. And yeah. if you made Ken in 3S, you better know the mirror match because Ken was a very popular character in 3S. Absolutely. And man. of course, it's a completely different matchup. But mm. my point is, he's very used to playing mirror matches. Yeah. And he's very good at utilizing his style against your style when you both have the exact same tools in your hands. Yeah, exactly. And since it's, you know, since it's Ken mirror and not, for example, a Mika mirror, there's not going to be you know gimmicks being used. It's just going to be outplaying your opponent. Uh, with, with the you know with the same character so character knowledge is so important all right so um these guys going for the same costume here yeah, I, be ryan. I believe takamura is the blue ken yeah ryan green ryan not going for his traditional purple oh yeah oh, wow didn't go for the ex purple to make that target almost safe what <laughs> the dp and got a throw afterwards oh oh just going into that and this is going to be big yeah, damage right now corner nice carry corner carry Oh, wake up, Stan Lee. Just, just eat peas yeah, in between. This is what I was talking about earlier, man. Takamura, not afraid. Wow. He would just do it, man. What a choice. Ryan yeah. was close to critical out there. I think, uh, I think a, a V-trigger combo would have killed. But 
Great choice from Takamura. Paid off. All right, good throw tech there. Oh, crush counter. There. Oh, just too far there for the com uh, combo. Just missed it. All right, keeping it simple. Just go straight for the yeah. DP. Using that uh, crush counter, you, the option select, you do the late uh, V skill, and it will come out on hit only. Oh, wow, good blocks. Opens him up. Could get stunned here. Still mm. in it. Oh, wow. that was it. That was it right there. And now, do not give Ryan an opportunity. This guy. Ooh. Oh, he had it. That was super Didn't right there. Could have done it. Ryan's still good at hit confirming usually. Oh, and he gets a run oh. into the throw. So nice. Trying to save himself around here. Takamura still has uh, the resources to kill in his next opening. Oh. Oh! Just like that. <laughs> Ryan thought he was being sneaky with the overhead, but oh, Takamura. Peef. Just doesn't care. Le Pif. Doesn't care about your overhead, man. Oh my days. Just Can't like wait. that. Everything you said about Takamura, absolutely spot on, Tyrant. <laughs> he has these moments of brilliance, and then other times, you know, the, the, the reads, the guts on the guy. Hey, he's, he's just, just going to throw it out. Just throw it out. And he committed fully. I mean, he'd have gone into the next round with zero meter had that not worked. Hey, and Ryan would have been in a great position to was, close it out. But He was willing to gamble it all. And, uh, Street Fighter Five, man, it's, cut, it's looking like it's the name of the game. You know, you just got to do it sometimes. You know, you got to take the risks. The risks pay off. Man, what a punish! And Reinhardt drops one zero down here. Takamura, yeah. the surprise yeah. package, in the lead now. Absolutely. And Ryan's got to think. You know, wow, I've got to back off sometimes in these situations. You know, the overhead is a big risk on a guy like this. He's willing to, to spend it all. Yeah, that's a gutsy it, it, it wasn't just DP. It was DP Super. That's it. You know, I mean. <laughs> just do it. Like, hey, you know, if, if you've got the read, then just throw it out there. A big shout out to Takamura. Takamura, Rago. man. The Rago. Rago, up, yeah. Absolutely, man. Right, just loading this next game coming up. Oh, Ryan yeah. Hart probably switched to his traditional purple, I imagine. Color he's been playing since uh, the first strike, ST days. Wherever available. Very sick, very sick. So I'd be surprised if he stuck with his green color after losing. Let's see if I'm right. I'm gonna look like an idiot Whoa. now. Oh, Ryan with the character switch. Are you joking? Ryan, 128 points on the line. Is this the time to experiment? Using Guile now. Does he know something we don't know? Maybe he's gonna try a, his defensive style. I'll tell you what, Ryan's had, had a chance to put some real time in this game. He's got a decent Ibuki in his pocket. He's got, ah. a, Gusk, he's got a Guile. Okay. Uh, he's got a few other characters up his sleeve that people, you know, will be surprised how good they are when they play it. So, okay, interesting. You know, this Guile might not be a slouch at all. Mm, definitely. I have seen him use uh, Guile for, uh, against a few players, Problem X, for, uh, for example. Oh, oh, oh the man, shimmy game, and he's getting opened up right like now. Like a bad choice at the moment. No reversal, no reversal available for Ryan without meter. Oh, just like that. Hmm, he's fighting out with these hard buttons. Oh, nice defense yeah. there with that jab. Conversion. Oh, oh that, that that was weird. heavy kick, so good, and again opens Dead. him up. Ex. Dead, yeah. Oh no, about to one. Yo. Oh man, they had a reversal. This is looking horrible. This is loser side, Tyrant. What a gamble from Reinhardt. Takum Takamura on the verge of sending Reinhardt out of the tournament. Takamura. Ryan tried to beat Takamura Ooh. at his own game there with that flash kick at the end. Oh man, he keeps down oh, throwing again. Punish for it. He's just opening him up right now. Jumps out. Oh man, he's smothering him right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. He's not letting Gal play this defensive game that he's so famous for. Oh, the V skill the covering a lot so of space. Good. Ryan afraid to throw booms in case of a case of a random jump dive kick, perhaps. Okay, now he's a bit more comfortable. A bit more in the swing of things now. V skill boom. Okay, nice anti air. Oh, minus four though. Okay. Oh, oh, nice opening. DP here. It could all end here. It's, it's, it's all or nothing now for Ryan. That was unsafe. He's gonna get a big punish now. Has Ryan got this in his pocket? Gonna throw. Oh, bait oh, it. Oh, just a bit out of stand throw. Didn't come. Oh no, and now. Oh, run up! Flash Activation! Oh. No stand throw from Ryan! Ryan oh, with the oh, EX! <laughs> Sonic booms out the corner. The patience of a saint. No EX flash kick here, son. Oh man, that throw would have killed. That throw would have absolutely yeah. killed. But okay, Ryan nice. picked up on that. That's what Ryan needed. He needed that confidence boost around. Although Takamura, he's not letting go. He's just all over it. Yeah. A nice confirm and sends him yep. flying to the corner. Yep, you need those input conversions with Ken, man. It's oh. so important. Oh, crush counter, but doesn't get a conversion. Man, that would have been close to stun. He really, that could be a big turning point. He needed that. EX Somersault. Oh, big out the stand throw. 
Oh, just like oh, that. This is it. huge damage right now for Ken. It could all end. That's oh, it. he gets him That's with a meaty. And Ryan. Takamura oh. has done it. Just like that. It was looking so good for Ryan. But then that, that little so shimmy good. with Ken, that, that, that bait. So big, man. Honestly, I, feel, I, I don't even feel like it was looking good for Ryan with that pick. It, it was uphill from the get-go. I mean, this is a character who has several ways of approaching you. Yeah. And Guile kind of needs to focus his attention on the way he thinks you're going to approach in order to be effective and solid. And against Ken, it's almost impossible to do that. It's, it's hard. I mean, Ken... Such the a run was yeah. just free. Ken was such a dominant character in that game. It looked like he was just not letting Guile play his game. I yeah, mean, at one point, at one Guile, point yeah. Ryan was looking... Uh, like he had the solid Sonic Boom game going, you know, he yeah. was look, he was in his, he was in his flow, but then Ken, he just got in. Once mm. he gets in, he makes you guess, and unfortunately, Ryan guessed wrong. And that tells you a lot about that situation. That at one point you say, yeah. So there's only one point yeah, in that whole game where right. Ryan actually was able to back away, get and, some space, and, and get the Sonic start booms. some booms. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. I remember that moment. That was the only moment though in the entire set. Uh, sorry, well, not the entire set. It was one game with Gar, but in that one yeah. game where he was able to do that, and pff, wow. Well, just well done, Takamura. He hey. was not going to be flustered for a second by Ryan's decision to pick guard there. It looked like that style of play was just the answer for yeah. what Ryan yeah. wanted to do there, and um, it paid off for him. So Takamura advances in the loser's bracket. Ryan Hart with a 13th place finish there, top 16. Um, and you get some points, you know. Yeah, you get, you get a point. Uh, Takamura will be playing up against CCL next. Wow, Belgium v. Belgium. That's going to be an interesting one. Uh, but meanwhile, looks like we're going to be... Playing the loser side of things next. Um, we're going to have MDZ Jimmy up against Mr. Crimson. So that's last time's winner, Mr. Crimson. Going to be rocking. I'm not sure who will who use actually for Ryu. Dalsim or Laura? What do you think? I think you'll go Dalsim. Dalsim, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll go Dalsim. Because you know, Ryu's got the meterless reversal. Yeah. Uh, you know, she, yeah. She, she, you know, he can uh, cause Laura some problems. So I, I think um, Laura, Laura can overwhelm Ryu as well, but I just think of the two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely same. Definitely same. Definitely I can see him going for that. It's going to be an interesting one. I don't know how well MDZ Jimmy knows that matchup. I've seen him play yeah. some matchups other than these ones that I've been surprised how well he knows them. So, you know, he's, a, he's I mean, done his homework in most other matchups. Yeah, I mean, online, you you, you, you do bump into some Dalsims. So, um, he more than likely has, you know, some experience with the character under his belt. I'm not sure how much super high level experience he's got. Mm. You know, you play these guys online, you don't know how, what level they're on sometimes. Um, but a guy like Mr. Crimson, you know, he's definitely going to have his hands full uh, with him. So, yeah, Mr. Crimson's no joke. I mean, yeah, of course not. To have a Laura like he has and to drop it for his Dow Sim, yeah, tells you a lot about how good his Dow Sim must be. Mm. We've seen, we saw examples of that in the last, in the last, last one. Did he not come from losers last time as well? Mm, yeah, he did. He did. He made it to win his finals. So, um, and then there's, just, there's a tweet from yourself. Oh F1. wow! So there you go. You're famous, man. You're up there. Great looking guy in the middle. Of you're that up there, photo. man. Jeez, smooth. <laughs> The black guy I'm referring to, of course. <laughs> the other two were okay. Yeah. Not on my level. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> big shout out to Ken Bogart, legend, and uh, Sam at Damascus. More yeah, shout out to those guys, man. And um, so I believe we're going to go straight in here. And he said Jimmy up against and Mr. Crimson. Oh, sweet. No no, no connection well, test needed. Well, I believe they've both done a connection test anyway. So. Fantastic. Let's get going. Yeah, let's, let's get popping. Let's just crack on with this. Ooh, okay. So Dustin's pokes in this game are, are much more susceptible to being counter poked from, from full range than they were. Yeah, definitely, know. definitely. Oh man, that stand for a bait was sick. The safe jump. Oh, oh <laughs> wow! Yo, is he using the OS tech? MDZ Jimmy's with the tech. All right. Yo, look at the way he's in his face here. Parry. Not letting Mr. Crimson breathe. He's really not. He's looking ready for Dustin right now. Nice hit confirmed there. Mm. Gotta be careful, he's losing a bit of health trying to get back in. Double teleport gets him out of there. Mr. Crimson. Ooh. Oh, what a time. That fireball catches. On the first of closing this round out, thanks to that. Just oh, that ready for the teleport. Jab. Free frame startup, of course. I think um, Mr. Crimson was looking for a fireball, but Jimmy's had no chance of throwing one at that point. Not worth the risk at all. Wow! Yo! Using that almost ST-like Dragon Punch. Just throwing it out mid-range. Man, Jimmy's looks so good. No answers. Can't hit confirm into the sweep. Stuck in the corner. Oh, no. He needs to get out. He needs to press medium kick there. 
Ooh, just catching him on the fireball start. And this oh, is a big nice. punish super. He's going to go into it. Yeah. And he's also sitting on full V gauge. So he's going to get a... Uh, if he needs it. Yep. Oh, yep. Nice. Cancels it out there. Oh. oh. And again. Oh, yep. my days. Oh, you oh. want to do it again? Try to Mr. Crimson staying <laughs> solid on the ground. <laughs> firmly planted. Didn't press anything. <gasps> Ooh. Interesting mix up there. Mr. Crimson. Maybe looking a bit flustered right now. Be careful, can't get parried. He's going to go to the super. Just oh my like days. that. Just like <laughs> that. <laughs> Yo, the parry. Crouching fist punch super. MDV Jimmy's in the Yo. building. Yo, I just got a flashback from you. You know, like uh, when Street Fighter 4 first come out. And it oh, was Toro like, versus Dagger. Yeah, and then oh, the, the, the super man. screen. I just got the flashbacks, man. That, that was brutal. Did you Yo, see that? The parry kept, That was dope. The, 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 the poke is out for so long, even from that range, that after the parry, he's still able to connect with that crouch fist. fist. And then, man, what a punish. I knew he was looking for it because he was standing at a range where Dowson feels comfortable throwing pokes. And I said, you've got to be careful you know, with these uh, with, with, with your pokes at this point. Listen, Damn, what a finish. I think that Mr. Crimson needs to... Needs to that's a that must be a slap in the face. That might, you know, he needs a reality check. That was a reality check right there. Yeah, maybe, maybe his Dalsim is not the one for this nah, particular. Not maybe the way MDZ Jimmy's is playing right now. I mean, maybe. he looks ready for Dalsim. <laughs> I mean, the parry on the V reversal. Listen, you know, he, like, it, in his face. It just looked like he was so ready. Yeah. Like, he just knew what Mr. Crimson wanted to do and just counted it every chance. Like, you, you know, you need to switch up your game plan after that. I mean, to be fair, we've seen some games today, Tyrant, haven't we, where it was very dominant and then the person stuck with the character and they brought it back. Uh, it looks like that's what Mr. Crimson's going to do. But, wow, that was that was so solid. That was brutal, brutal, man. That was... And you know, it wouldn't be a massive surprise if Mr. Crimson went out. Hell, we know Ryan Hart's already out. We saw... Um, what else did we see uh, leave earlier? I think uh, Cobblecog's gone. Cobblecog's out. You know, I mean, wow. th th this is this is a no joke online CPT. People are... You know, heads are rolling. So, there's no guarantee that the defending champ of the last one, Mr. Crimson himself, can't go out right now. He absolutely can. Yeah, of course. Okay, gets the forward throw now. Mr. Crimson looks like he's taking a more offensive approach. You know, he, he, maybe he's realized that, you know, throwing these limbs is giving Jimmy opportunities to parry and, you know, get the get the punishes on that. Oh, just like that, stand hard punch. Okay. Yeah, look at this, he's really changed up. Yeah, this is just looking like a completely different game right now. Slides under, gets the forward throw. Meaty, no? Okay. Back throw. Great round so yeah, far. Yeah, this is looking like just Mr. Crimson just looking not looking phased by that last game. Not in the slightest. Yeah, Fury Reversal, good stuff there. And now this last hit, this is where Dowson becomes so scary because it's almost as if he will get the last hit there with those limbs. Yeah. And he's got so many different types of instant overheads now, you, you just don't know where, where he's yeah. going. Yeah. You know. mm. Oof. Goes under there, yeah, you know. I've noticed Mr. Crimson going for a lot more throws this round and they're paying off for him. So I think he maybe picked up on for the first game. Yeah. Oh, oh it wow. punishes the teleport as well. Not only the throw, but the teleport. Okay. Oh wow, Mr. Crimson. <laughs> he's 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 uh, testing the water. Oh. oh. Staying close to him, man. Making mm. uh, making Mr. Crimson feel as uncomfortable as he can. Oh, nice cross counter. Sorry, counter, uh, counter hit confirmed. What? What? We got fireball? Your side was on. Oh, he could have actually had jab there, but. Okay. Ooh, wow. I think he tried to. The yeah, slide. he wanted it slide into V trigger. Oh, just a dash forward. And uh, those fireballs so fast when we're using V trigger. Wow, Tyrant. MDC Jimmy is heading to match point. Match here. point, and he's sitting pretty. Full critical arc gauge. Ooh. Don't throw any more limbs. This is looking scary. You know what happened last time? But Mr. Crimson saying maybe it was a fluke. Maybe, you know, you, 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 you. oh, just oh, like nice. that. The shimmy from, from Dalsim. Big damage right there. That jump back tech OS. Oh, Mr. Crimson. Oh, not falling for it this time, but no punish. I can't help but feel like he's playing with fire. No pun intended. Big punish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Just like that, Mr. Crimson dashes in and takes the throw. Wow, what a Ooh. turnaround. Great play there from Mr. Crimson. Really adapted well after that round got taken at like um, tournament point for MDZ Jimmy. I think I felt like nerve-wise, nerve Crimson could have fallen apart there and it could have yeah. been his tournament. Over, I think that all it he took himself, he's back in it. All it took was one of those, uh, another one of those parries into super. 
and that was just a heartbreaker for Mr. Crimson. You know, that, that can really mentally break you as a yeah, player because yeah. it's like, how can you do these things to me? Like, you know, it's like such an unusual situation. Wow. Really, really big play from Jimmy there. Well, I'll tell you what's great is it didn't stop him from throwing pokes at that hey. range. It didn't slow him down. You can't let these amazing yeah. things that happen. Yeah, exactly. Stop you. I saw it with Shao Hai versus Takedo Ryu Kami uh, at Stunfest earlier this year. He was throwing fireballs and Shao Hai was DPing every single fireball. Oh my goodness. It got to the point where Takedo just started dashing up and throwing him. He's like, I know the amount of con concentration it takes. <laughs> exactly. For you to do yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not thinking of anything else when you're doing that. And then after you started throwing him, Guess what? It's like throwing fireballs again. And guess what? Wow. Shao Hai wasn't so smart. DP in every single one. And you've got to remember that your opponent's human like you. Yeah. You know? So just, just because he did that amazing parry in that moment, you know, the following game, he went and got hit by about 19 different pokes in the exact same position. Exactly. You're not, you're not going to, you know, lightning doesn't strike twice. Absolutely. In the same That's a very, very good point, man. So, yeah, I, I, I guess we were I was wrong to say switch characters. Great adaptation from... Um, Mr. Crimson, we'll see how the final game goes. And that's what it's all about, adaptation. Absolutely. Adaptamantations. Definitely want to see that that parry at the end, though, no matter what happens. Yeah, oh, yeah we're Let's watching that back. Don't that worry back. about that. <laughs> Unless he does it again, of course, we'll watch it in this game. <laughs> okay. Wow. wow. That was not a jab. That was a freaking dragon punch that time. Oh, he's that grass for Yeah, on the, on the limb. So nice. Damn. Oh, the, the pressure here. Nice reversal, but blocked there. Teleports out, trying to bait maybe a DP. I've noticed Mr. Crimson does that a lot. He does like to teleport back. Mm. Oh, wow. Just Look at caught. the damage. The solar plexus. That was him 900 health only. Yeah, when you see that fireball, that is your ready. chance to approach, but you need to be so ready for it. Mr. Crimson. Sitting on a V gauge. Okay, yeah, he uses it to just a V reversal out there. Oh no! Oh, missed. he's got Why him. Miss? What? Why did, he's, he had the right idea. He had the head jab, but he was just out of range. Just whiffed. just whiffed. I think you know sometimes the hitbox on these anti air normals aren't, isn't great when you don't press a button in the air. Absolutely. And you know NPC Jimmy's didn't press anything. Yeah, and a lot of these players are relying on these these jab anti airs, which you know so if, if your timing is not perfect, That's it's it. going to get you in trouble. Wow, it's match point NPC Jimmy again. Nice. Teleports out there. This is how Mr. Crimson wants to play it, man. He wants his pace. Oh, so these, these DPs is just on point right now. He's going to DP backwards, and if you do it backwards and they teleport in front of you, you get something else. Okay. So it's actually a really good option to select. I've seen Dago there. Wow. Goes under. Look at the damage just piling up right now. Our champion, Mr. Crimson. Heading out. He's heading out, Tyrant. He's heading oh, out. He's on the verge of going out here. Jimmy's making it really difficult for him. Ooh, Bad teleport the in. Teleports are uh, they're not looking good right now. Jimmy's just jumping away just to preemptively attack that teleport. Spending that meter now. Just trying to get something started. And the another. X5 ball. Oh! Tatsued away. Oh, that was a sweep right there. He could have got him. Nice choice of buttons. Beautiful pressure. Oh, my Shoot, there is Dragon is. Punch. And no, now I guess he's got it. Mystery of Yoga. Oh, no DP there. Gets out. Gets a bit of that great health. Can't get caught here. Can't get caught. No! The why did he go in? Look at where he is. Look at the hitbox. Oh, my He was behind days. him. He's done it. So, Jimmy takes it there. Mr. Crimson eliminated here. Last in the, the top eight. The first online EU Capcom Pro Tour champion, Mr. Crimson. He's gone. He's out. He's eliminated. There's, there's no second chances. That was loser's bracket. MDZ Jimmy and his fans, the people who are always screaming and cheering for him, will be going absolutely nuts right now. Mental. What a result. Yeah, they'll be getting crazy right now, man. Wow. And there's one of his fans now. DW, M DNW Nation. Big shout out to you for yeah. that support for MDZ Jimmy's. Right. We're going to take a look at this moment, we've Tyrant, got, aren't we? We've got to have a look at this moment, guys. This, this, it's, uh, it's even sweeter looking at it, knowing that he actually won. Yeah, one, the, the actual event is it. Alright guys, so first of all, he got these these brilliant um we see Daigo using this one a lot as, as well now. This, really good uh, against Dalsim because it covers yeah. the back dash, it and covers the teleport. the teleport. Just like that, look and at that. Beats the throw. Beautiful play. And then look, he gets the back throw in the corner. Throw, just when all hope was lost. So he's already in trouble here, uh Jim, um Crimson. He's already in trouble. Yeah. And you see what you see that the, there's the first parry He tried it, he tried it, he knew it was coming. There it just is. There. Oh big punish. Wow. Beautiful wow. one play. more time, one, one more time. time. One more game, homie. One, one more game. <laughs> Three one select. Ah. Just there. Damn. Dalsim tries that. Don't poke. press buttons. What are you doing, <laughs> fam? Why are you pressing buttons in front of me, fam? Are you mad? 
That was simple. Jimmy. Yeah, this is that medium kick. This is this is fine. I'm just gonna press this button. No one ever does anything about this button. <laughs> Damn, what a punish. I love it. I love it. Ugh. Oh, the gut punch from full screen. Just like that, man. Must feel so good if you've been getting poked all game by a Dalsim. Yeah, you're just blocking, in. building up the grey damage. Oh, oh this, oh, is, God. this is yeah. long. Yeah. Uh, to have an option like that, just grab the leg and just punch it. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much what he did, he grabbed the leg and punched Broke it. his ankle and then... <laughs> For a fight at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. Well done, MDZ Jimmy. He's just Brilliant taking play. out. I'll give you one of the favourites today. Well, yeah. I mean, Mr. Crimson. Mr. Crimson can't be happy with that one. Yeah, he's out. Representing Meltdown. Big fans of Meltdown here in the UK. We've got oh, a lovely yeah. bar in a... In a <coughs> sit, uh, Caledonian Road. Caledonian Road. Near, near, King, near the King's Cross, guys. King's Cross, yeah, not too far from Central London. So Racket reset. Massive shout out to them. But unfortunately, their sole representative has been eliminated. We'll now be heading to the winner's side. What match are we going to next? We will see. Staying in losers, sounds like. Yeah, we're going to stay in losers here. We've got... Um, I believe we're going to get... Real Menace versus Problem X coming up next, guys. This is going to be a huge match. Two UK players, you know. It's going to be a team kill, unfortunately. Both from London. Uh, one yeah, of, one, of, one of them has to go home, unfortunately. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. One of these guys is out, like you said. Um, they play all the time. From what I've seen, Problem has a slight edge, but I've seen Real Menace give him a lot of trouble. Yeah, um, at Hype Spotting, uh, I believe these two played in, in top eight. Um, and yeah, it was it was super close. Super close yeah. First of all, you know, R Real Menace looked like he totally had yeah, full he control. Dominated, right? I he think dominated. He dominated. Yeah, three rounds straight. Or he like he, yeah, three rounds straight. And then Problem X just thought, you know what? I'm not doing anything. And he played that super super dry game, and just Menace was just lost. Didn't know what to do. Yeah. Started jumping. You know, yeah. make, making taking big risks, and and Problem just took it like that. So it's going to be interesting to see what adjustments these two have made to their game. Of mm. course, Problem with a new character. Hype spot and he was using Bison, and now we didn't have Alex then. Yeah. Now we do, and this is his character. And we did see at Sonic Boom, Problem X, pretty decent at the Chun Li matchup. Yeah. Taking MOV right to the edge. Right to the edge, yeah. That, I think a 3 2 in the end to MOV. 3 2. So, you know, I mean, it's a matchup he'll be fairly comfortable with. I think the real question is how well does Real Menace know Alex? I know these guys play online. Yeah. Not necessarily Real Menace playing on Problem X, though. You know, it's a big room that they all create for each other. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a lot of people in there who you may not be playing regularly. So this could be a matchup that Real Menace is still learning. Could be one he knows inside out. Yeah. I have no idea. We'll find out now. I mean, Menace is no slouch, man. I've got to imagine that he's been uh, putting in work, putting in time to figure out. Because Alex, the DLC characters, you know, oh, he's going with M. Bison now. Okay. So he's maybe uh, that's his choice. He did say the Lord is back. He did say that in a tweet a few months, uh, I think a few weeks ago. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Maybe he meant for certain matchups. For the, certain the matchups, yeah. will be returning. And um, of course, we were talking about the hype spot in victory. You know, he's got to have that in his mind as well. The mm. time he beat Menace on the big stage, he also it beat was Ali with Bison in a, uh, in a what was that event called? Fight. Big event in France where they do first of fives. Oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, that was um, Kaku Top, right? Kaku Top. Yeah, yeah. So he took him out the first set. I think Ali Yun came back and won the next set. So, you know, and that was with Dictator. Yeah, with Ben Bison, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, good choice. We'll see. Haven't seen Problem X's Dictator for a while. Personally, I, I, do, I don't think this matchup is great. I mean, I prefer it to say, for example, Amika or Laura, because you're still technically playing Street Fighter yeah. here. But um, it's like, it's still very difficult. You know, Chun Li's options that she has, you know, she has so many tools just to shut Bison down. And uh, as we were talking about earlier, that wall she can just create and just make it so difficult for Bison. Oh, gets the air legs, converts into the full spinning bird kick combo. Minus two here. Ooh, okay, I like yeah, the, throw. Go for the throw. Yeah, I like that. Would have had to commit to attack. Oh. Going for throws now. Uses the EX Psycho Blast just to keep her there. Okay, yep. Big it's opening. EX is a kick. No, uses, uh, chooses to save. Oh, resets oh. it. EX Flame. Just ran oh, out of ran V trigger. Out. Yeah, so unfortunate there. Yeah, there's no point in trying to anti air that. It's just way too good. That and now that's, that's going to be it, yeah. Nice. Last hit. Yeah. Real menace. Yeah, really Choosing the right that. option. <laughs> okay. Yeah, forcing a trade. I mean, this is what I mean. Bison can get plus one on on a lot of his moves, but if, if the, the the character he's fighting against has a plus, th has, sorry, has a three frame button, then it's pointless because they can force a trade and just remove all Bison's pressure. Yeah, exactly, and that and that's the thing, because he has no three frame, it's almost meaningless in having that plus one. Yeah, in this situation. as he says himself. Oh, meaningless. Nice Dead. No, he could. He could I think Flame would have killed. Yeah, I think Flame would have killed too. Be reverse the reset. 
Problem just smothering Menace now in the corner. Oh, be careful not to let him back into this round. It's Chun Li. Don't forget. Had to spend the meter already more resource than he would have liked. It's a close this out. Oh. Gets him on a stand medium kick in the end. Stays confident. Uses the stand medium kick. One round apiece. You know, I, I, it's hard to think that. If Menace even did get the hit in that situation, if he would have used Super, it's a big commitment. Yeah. You know, it's a big gamble to use your bar there. It's the air legs. Bison can stop that. Crouching jab is, is a good answer for that one. Crouching fierce as well. Back throw here. Forward throw. He's really aware that Menace not pressing buttons on wake up, not doing anything on wake up. Ooh, Ooh she's beautiful. Is that whiff punish? Crouching. Yep, yeah, gets the flame. Oh, EX Burkick that time. Ooh, oh, wow. Tried he, to he tried to. That. What is there to try and bait, though? He doesn't have any reversals. Mm, yeah, look, he's trying yeah. to play the stand for him, maybe. Yeah, I don't get it. Bison, you know, he doesn't have anything. Overhead, good block from Problem. Into, yep, super. Big punish, yep. that's it. Beautiful. Problem makes so patient, man. Yeah. Just blocks it out, blocks it out, blocks it out. And that's what you need to do. Like Stuck out that fierce punch, cancelled into the heavy scissors, and. That's all she wrote. Yeah, beautiful play there from Problem. Really good play, man. I love to see Bison win, so good stuff. Some great blocks on the way there as well. I feel like mm. Menace could maybe change it up a little. Scared, yeah. but not really utilizing the instant air legs. I know Problem X is one of the guys alongside Pax. Maybe a selfie punishes it really consistently. Um, but they have to be looking for it to be yeah. ready for that punish, I feel. So. You, if you see her go airborne next to you, she's definitely doing legs. Yeah. Because she's never going to just jump. Mm. And if she does, you can punish her on landing. Exactly. So... You know, you need to be ready there. But I'd like to see that side of Problem X's game tested a bit more. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. It looked like he, the, 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 a few conversions that Menace got were from that air legs. You're right, actually. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know a lot of Chun-Li's use it too much. But yeah, you know, yeah. Until you're given a reason to stop, man. Keep keep doing it. Hmm. The reward is humongous. Keep doing it. But, um, but yeah, no, no, really good play from Problem so far. You know, looking confident. Yeah, very impressive. The Dictator pick looking good for Chun-Li. Yeah, paying off. And uh, I've noticed he's getting, a, he's getting a lot of throws on Menace on his wake up. You know, a lot of Chun-Li's, they yeah. like to wake up with jabs or they like to, like to wake up with the expert kick. But Menace is content to just wait. And it looks like Problem has kind of got something going there. Like he's getting a lot of throws. Definitely seen that. Even the expert yeah. kick he got hit by. Yeah, exactly. He was going for another throw. Another throw. Really, really seen a, a, a chink in the real Menace armor. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, man. I, I, I feel like Problem might need to switch that off offensive uh, approach on his wake up. And switch it up a bit now. But let's see how this one goes. Can Real Menace make the adaptimentation, as you say? Of course. Hopefully he can. Uh, but let's see how this goes now. Yep. Cannot go airborne against Chan. Plus one here. Dashes up. Menace. Of course, a lot of Bisons use that, um, that dash up hard kick, but it's it's there's a lot of frames in there that you can interrupt, especially if your character has a three-frame button. You know? Oh, wow. Just like this. And look at this pressure right now. The, the view reversal, he wanted that just to pull back some of the stun, but wow, doesn't matter. Perfect. perfect. It's amazing how no matter how slow the perfect is and how long it's lasting, the person who has that green bar just tends to maintain that green bar <laughs> yeah. at the end. Have you noticed that? That's something that I, I've noticed as I'm commentating. Yeah, that is true, actually. <laughs> Great whiff punish there with that stun heavy kick. Yeah. Ooh, geez, nice. it's a kick. And that range is safe. You know, the, the light one is minus four, so Chun Li, she can punish that with a couple of things. Yeah, that stand like it's got great. Yeah, range. stand like he can see EX legs. Lovely counter hit confirmed there. Menace. Sorry. Looks like he's found the answer right now. Looks much better already. And it's just being more active. Oh, nice anti air there from Problem. So ready. I like the fact that Problem was made to do that though. Yeah. You can guess it. Great play there from uh, Problem X regardless. Has a corner there. Bring this round back and use it. Super. Yep, he is. Yep, this is big damage right now for Bison. That's an easy hit confirmed. Russia. Well landed. <laughs> And now he does get a meaty here. Dash up, medium punch. Yep. Activates. Oh, the reversal here. The oh, again, there it is. This is what I'm saying. Again, look at all the resources Menace had, but he still was content to sit there. Yeah, really, really comfortable just taking those throws. Yeah, and, and even wake, waking up with jabs is a better answer there. Throws in this game, guys, are five frame startup. You know, a, a, a well timed jab on your wake up will beat a throw, unless it's perfectly Absolutely, meaty. Yeah, and it's really hard. It's harder for the person doing the throw. Than it is for the person doing the wake up jab. Exactly. To connect at the right time. So, look at that. Surprise, Raw Mess just looking around. Lovely fake. And just, just, just. Oh, just like that. Five active frames on that. Oh, so boy, good. And this gonna is going to be the yeah. stun. Raw Menace converting to. This is going to be big damage right now. Oh, man. Real Menace. Oh, we went for the reset. Problem was just mashing the jab out. Okay, it's activates. Rough. Makes it safe. 
No. Be careful here. Plus two there. Okay, guess. Man, these throws are causing such a big deal. Why? Okay. Oh, he finally takes one. Whoa, interrupts it before he goes behind. That V-Trick is almost gone. EX is oh, a kick. Big interruption. Yep. Invincible frames on there. Probably makes on match point. He's trying to close this out here, Tyrant. Wow, Menace content. Oh, catches him with the sweep. Just kept it on the screen. Wow. I don't think that was on reaction. I think he was anticipating some kind of movement. If it was on reaction, then wow, fantastic play there from a lot of minutes. Yeah. What a play. What In a any case, that was really clever to keep the sweep out. Oh, yeah. Screen. So really just, just, you know, because he, he anticipated, okay, you need to get into You need to get in on me now. You need to get close. Just, for sure. Just kept it out in no. advance. Great play from Real Menace. So yeah, the, the sweep active, you know, for a very long time. Bison's forward dash, his back dashes, I mean, he, he, he can't really walk around the screen. Mm. You know, his walk speed is so damn slow. Oh, man. Now, if, you know, he's he's going to move. He's going to Yeah, he's, he's going to move. He's going to dash. You know, we saw problem dashing up a lot. And, you know, that, that sweep just covers it, you know, on, on startup and recovery. So, you know, there, there is a couple of uh, invincible frames in on the, the forward dash. But, you know, they're not very... It's like things like three or four frames. You know, it's not it's not amazing. Great but play for Real Menace. Real, I mean, he, yeah. he's back in this. He is one apiece. Showing he's not going down without a fight. Is a problem that's going to stick with him, Bison, for this final game? Maybe I would like I would like to see a, a, an Alex pick now. Maybe we saw uh, Mr. Crimson <laughs> stick to his guns and it cost him dearly in the end. Indeed, even though there was a good adaptation made mid set. Now let's see what problem goes for here. Is it still Bison? Yeah, still M Bison. Okay. Okay. That purple Bison. That is a hard survival color, guys. So, but the problem has been grinding that survival mode to unlock it. It's not easy. <laughs> Have you tried that mode yet? No. You don't want you yeah, to no, don't. I've done survival don't. mode, but not 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 to the degree. Don't try that. That you need to, to get that. So. <laughs> My survival mode skills are pretty sick, though. You'd be surprised. Yeah. You know? You'd be surprised, you know, bad, you know? <laughs> I'd like to see uh, problem using crouch and medium kick a lot more. Actually, really really good it's tool against range, Chun. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, especially underneath a lot of her pokes as well. Yeah, it's it's really good after they you force them to block the um, psycho axe as well. Uh, in certain ranges, you can actually make the Light Inferno safe as well. So, like there, for example. Ooh. Oh, nice face in there. Just worth punish that. Oh, if he converted into the target combo, that would have been big damage. Oof. Dash up hard kick now. Trying to get Menace to think about those options a bit more. I was going to say, he's, he's yeah. really conditioned him well to, to get hit by something here, but mm. Menace not falling for it. Looks like he's happy to take the throw again. Ooh. Very good patience. Yeah, and gets like an opening now too. Not getting that drop like he did against Hurricane. Just going straight into it. And now, okay. Activates himself. Problem wanted that. Yep. Ooh, oh, man, so quick. Into, into EX scissors. Using all those plus frames. Oh, no punish down that yeah, now Bison has to kind of... Oh, guess hard knockdown. Still look, yeah. Oh, throw. there it is. Throw would be every option Bison had apart from throw tech and jump. You know, you can't wake up with anything with That's Bison. Got to remember, Problem X is sitting fairly high Ooh, in the damage. points board. He he could do with some points here to really solidify that position. Definitely, but he is now staring at defeat and elimination at the hands of Real Menace at the moment. Yeah, he doesn't want to go out here. Like there, like, I can't help but feel that that crouch and medium punch, punch, medium kick would be so good there. Yeah, let me see you guys a bit more. There as well, like, just build on the pressure. Great instant air legs there from Real Menace. Gets Ooh. over the down forward hard punch. Has critical lot here, one more hit could be the end. Oh, uh, so you see, Problem tried to dash oh. in, but Menace was so ready, he saw the purple flash. So survive, you can survive. react to it. Ooh. Yep, it does. Use the EX and Oh, beautiful. Like that. that is that for Problem X. He has been eliminated Shun. from the tournament. Real Menace. Really doing exactly what we thought we might do here at this event and winning his second game in a row since wow. we've been on stream. Great play from him. Really, really perf a good performance from him, man. Just looking like he's so ready for Bison. You know, he's aware that what the options the character has. So he, he, was, he was getting hit with a few throws on wake up uh, here and there, but, you know, he... And that's the choice he's, he's making in the yeah. game, maybe, you know? Like, oh, I'll just keep taking the throw onto the server. It's never going to hurt as much as if you hit me. I know, yeah, I know a lot of channelies, they do like to sit there and, and keep the down back. Um, just in case people neutral jump to try and bait the EX bird kick. So then they can do it when on the recovery when mm. they got the neutral jump. But um, he just got thrown and thrown and thrown, but still managed to come out on top really strong. Really impressive. Wow. Really impressive from Real Menace. He Good. marches on in a loser's side. And I think he's going to be playing MDZ Jimmy, who was uh, maybe one of our MVPs for today. Really, yeah. really impressive after his performance against uh, Mr. Crimson. Okay. That's going to be a big one.
Uh, meanwhile, guys, please check out the Capcom Pro Tour store. Uh, we are presented here today by Sony PlayStation 4. Head over to Amazon.com forward slash Capcom Pro Tour. Get yourself the official, official Pro That's Tour the keyword there. That's the keyword. The keyword. Official, baby. Also, guys, please don't forget to check out XSplit if you're interested in streaming from home yourself or if you've got uh, some projects coming up. Uh, the Capcom Pro Tour broadcast is powered by XSplit. Get yourself a 20% discount with the code PROTOUR2016. Uh, visit xsplit.com forward slash CPT. Now, XSplit is a powerful program, guys. Uh, here at Capcom Fighters, they use it. Um, you know, all the top streamers use it, like Team Spooky, for example. I use this at home. A lot of the top streamers use it. So, yeah, powerful program, man. Awesome stuff. Very, very good. Get on it. I've got one at home myself, actually. Really? Yeah. I might get into it, you know. I might get into yeah, it, you know. A little, little stream. I mean, well, maybe I'll call it the Just Give Me the Mic show or something. Just give me the mic, yeah. I'll do it, man. You oh. got to send me some names, you know. I'll think of something. <laughs> I'll think of something. I'll, you know, I've got to find the time. You know, we've got a kid and a wife. It's pretty difficult, but... You know, I, I reckon I could get, pull off maybe one bi-weekly stream thing going on here, you know. That would be sick. Get a few guests over. tickety tie. Yeah, boy. Maybe I'll I'm bring ISD here down as well. As long as it doesn't <laughs> beat up anyone in my house, you know. <laughs> get the whole crew down, man. It'd be good. Look, at, the, look, 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 at, look at all these guys. All this amazing stream overlay brought to you with the power of XSplit. Um, you can see the, uh, the bracket we've got here. So we're going to be going into another loser's bracket match, I think. Um, I do so believe... French on French crime. French on French? French on French. All right. It's going to be Luffy and Wall 2-pack, guys. Allez, Luffy. Le tupes. <laughs> Le tupes. <laughs> Two of the stronger players outside of uh, out France these days. Yes. It's, uh, these guys are really flying the flag in Street Fighter Five. I mean... Oh, uh, yeah. More traveling outside of Europe for 2-pack. His team mm -hmm. quite, quite 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 competent in that area massive shout out to melty for getting him out to those areas yeah really really of course, good a massive shout out to luffy and uh his team one of the coolest teams in the world probably the coolest team red oh, bull. listen red bull man who can yeah, forget those um, the european events those amazing events that uh, they put on yeah you know? no seriously the, 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 yeah. the, the red bull kumite? The kumite oh man don't get me started really ridiculous me started, those guys so good so yeah, I mean these, these are two guys who are really representing France right now in terms of placing. So right. yeah. it's gonna be a shame to see one of them go. Absolutely. But it's, it's just the way it goes down I sometimes. I believe Luffy with a 17th place finish at Evo as well this year. Yeah, yeah, he's finished 17th before. Yeah. Uh, so it just goes to show, you know, the consistency of that guy. Yeah, that guy, you know, he turns it up when he needs to. Not to mention he has won it as well. Yeah, he's also taken the whole event. You can't forget that. <laughs> Oof. Oh. All right, command throw here. Time to guess. Just out of range there. Miscalculation from all two-pack. Yeah, but if we go for that reset again, I wonder why. Hmm. Wow, we'll just this. Yes, okay. Go. Brings it back in the corner, though. Oh, didn't confirm. It's the EX. Almost stunned here. Oh, unsafe. If, if, yeah. if he would have blocked it. I think he meant to do a command dash there. Yeah. Activates. Oh Look man, Irish that. Whip, he walks into it. Luffy. Big the, damage. Luffy with the read. Paid off big time. A very, very slow paced style match there, mm. considering the two characters we have on the yeah, screen. I thought that we'd been round three by now. Yeah, I, thought, I thought this match would have been finished. We saw how quickly that um, Wu Tupac depleted Cobble Cog's HP, man. That was crazy. Eight seconds, guys. <laughs> oh, this is more like this is buttons. this is more what I expected to see. Luffy refusing to uh, to quick stand because he knows that falls into Laura's hands. Oh, okay, gets the conversion. Good pressure there. Spends a lot of meter though to keep it on and gets the command grab as well. Oh, paid it's off. It's gonna be near death here. Oh, oh wow! It just does it, man. Luffy not ready for the overhead. The V skill there. Such a big risk. <laughs> but hey, with that, with the amount of life he had, you know, it's, it's all right. So negative that V skill. It is. It's like negative, like eight, I think, or nine. <clears throat> Wow, too bad. Let's him jump in and then go straight into a jab. Now he's ch charging up the command throw. So the next one he gets will be big damage. Uh-oh. Sends so that flying. Yep. Shooting Peach. Oh, man. Wake, wake up, up. Jab again. Free, free frame jab. Test him. Oh, it doesn't. 
Oh, oh, oh that was just sneaky. Too far. Because he knows Luffy knows about the, the cross-up setup, so he just went low instead. And he actually, Luffy actually ate it. But yeah. Didn't get the position in the time right for that fireball to link from that low. And look at the damage. When she's in V trigger, so oh, scary. Wow, we're gonna wake up EX from Luffy. Activate. Let's go. Oh, oh, he's so scared. Just just like oh, wait, wait, wait. What's the dead. wonderful damage? Oh, oh. me, look at him. That's in low. That was such a clever command grab from Luffy. That was really smart. That was such a clever command grab. Like, he after activating the Nadesco uh, and then catching him with a reset. I don't think anyone would have taken that. Hey, even if he would have jumped away from the command throw, he would have got hit. There you go. So you can't get out of that. Yeah. It's one of them situations where if the timing is perfect from the Mika, you're done. Now, was that definitely one of the Nadeskos where she was going to come down before he would have landed from his next jump? I can't say. We can probably check that quickly. I mean, um, that was just a horrible situation. Yeah. Just horrible. It, was, it, was, it, it didn't look good, man. For the, like, for the two back, it was looking tough. Yeah. I right. mean, Mika is just a character that both of these characters actually, they just they whitewash you, you so can't quick. Feel sorry for you, yeah, you you, you they're, can't. They're both trash. You yeah. Know? <laughs> one one is a hell of a lot more fun than the other to play, <laughs> my opinion. Laura, she is incredibly fun to play. Um, but they're both they're both they both break what 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 they have tried to make Street Fighter Five yeah. stand for. They contradict it big time. They're, yeah, <laughs> I agree. But I um, agree. but you need the villains in the game, which is why I cannot wait. For Urian, I feel like Urian, as long as they don't listen, patch him too much. That guy is going to be one hell of a villain. It's going to be hated. It's going to be complaints. I want to see the forums. Are I want to see the big fat text letters and, 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 <laughs> and moaning and crying. I want to see videos of like self, self, self hate and, and self harming because you're so angry because Urian's so ridiculously good. <laughs> he's going to he's going to be sick, man. I hope so. I really do hope like, so. Like it's, it's it's almost impossible for him to not be like really good. <laughs> to be honest, might have to keep him in my pocket. You know, might have to keep that guy in my pocket. Hey, man. Like, I think it's a good pick to have. Mm. All right, so we're going straight back in now. Luffy 1-0 up here against Gold 2-Pack. Once again, guys, this is the loser side. Ooh. These two uh, can't help but see uh, quite a lot of player familiarity. Like, they're going for setups that you wouldn't normally go for. Like, for example, when we went, when Wu 2-Pack got the knockdown and he, and he, he stayed in front, he didn't go for the cross-up setup. That's because mm. Luffy knows about it. You know, any other player, he would have gone for that that's crossover it. straight away. That's it. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. And that's that was brutal. Stun. He's going to oh, talk on the mic sequence. now. sequence. Okay. She's done. She's done. Drop kick. Oh, that was so harsh. He just tried to get out. Basically, for trying to get out of the corner, he literally lost 70% of his health bar. Jeez. Nice. Luffy moves into match point. Oh, nice buffer there. Crash medium. Not the best range on that crash medium kick, though. Oh. I'll use buttons, man. Oh. Stays in front there. Oh. Luffy content to block. Drop kick. Aware that the uh, the fiber will fizzle. Mm, okay. Oh, oh activate. Stan Hart. Nope. Gets the Irish whip. Oh, Luffy's oh, styling on him. Oh, reset. Just like that, better. you can't oh, do nothing. Boy, see why he survived this stun. And now, nice, that's behind. That's a big that's turning a, point. This is going to be. All right, this could be dead right now. One mix up from Laura. Wake up, super. Oh, no, you can't do that. Luffy, Luffy wow. why? He just did it. He didn't think about it. He just did it. Tupac was staring down the barrel of defeat there with that stun bar almost at its maximum. I'm telling you, if if, if Laura ever activates her V trigger on hit. The round's over. I, I don't think I've ever seen it not be over from that. All right, command throw. Wow, okay, jump forward, OS throw. Nice anti-air from all two pack. Waits, waits for the answer from Luffy, but nothing. Charles drop kick. Oh, that's poor. I think you meant to do a command grab. Oh, no. Command dash. Can you get a big punish? Not like this. Okay. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, he missed his meaty. Back throw. This is big. Nadesco's on. Yeah, Nadesco's a factor now. Okay, gets away. Oh, oh bad. neutral jump. That's Luffy's going to take it over Will Tupac. <sighs> French team kill there. Wow, that was harsh. That was harsh. But that's just the way it's got to go down. I feel like after that comeback in that, uh, in that last round, maybe Tupac might have found some fire in his belly to bring that back. But in the end, Luffy just too solid. <sighs> Meanwhile, shout outs to Amar Gantecha. Uh, Ch Real Menace's Chan, always so good to watch and learn from. Oh, wow. CPG awesome. 2016. Yep. So, some people do know who Real Menace is. Yeah, Real Menace, man. Like, this guy, he's been putting in work. <laughs> Definitely one of the best at Tekken in, in the UK by far. In oh, fact, yeah, probably yeah, the best yeah. right now. That guy, uh, he's been winning everything in Tekken, but 
Street Fighter Five man, he's trying to make a name for himself that's in this it, as well, and he's, he's going the good way about it, beating guys like Problem X, and uh, yeah, just putting in work. So I believe we're going to have the next game for you guys will be, yeah, it's, in fact, it's going to be CCL versus Takamura, guys. Ooh, Belgium versus Belgium. Belgium versus Belgium. Lots we just of had uh, France versus France. Yeah. Like Belgium versus Belgium. Before that, we had UK versus UK. Yeah. Well, hold on a so second. it's lots of um. Uh, yeah. It's just the way it turned yeah, out. Yeah. Hey, it's just the way it turned out, man. Like. Yeah. Okay. After the following match, guys, we will be taking a five-minute break. So don't go anywhere for now. As you can see, the guys in the bracket, CCL up against Takamura. So we saw Takamura with an impressive victory. Oh, wow, victory. they're sponsored by the same team, Tyron. Oh, BE. Okay. Oh, of course, they mean. So Belgium, okay. So yeah, it's going to with an impressive victory over Ryan Hart uh, just a short while ago. Yeah, really dominating against Ryan Hart's um, uh, Ryan Hart Skyle and, uh, and fairly positive against Ryan Hart's Ken as well. So really good yeah. from Takamura. I mean, you got to remember, this is not one of the things that's so great about online events. And I've had, you know, my voice challenged on Twitter a bit for stating my opinion. I really do feel like this is a fantastic event. It's a fantastic idea. I do not I doubt that for a minute. I think this is where we as the FGC and Capcom yeah. being the leading game in the FGC take it to another level. Yeah, absolutely. And the great thing about it is uh, also players like Takamura, who you don't really see at events. You it know, gets up there. But you do know them. You know, these, there's a lot of people I had in my friends list when I used to be a lot more active who I'd be like, I'd love to meet this guy one day. I probably never will meet because they don't come to events. But they get to get that experience. They get to have that competitive experience yeah. online. And this is the great thing about it. Takamura has just made it to top eight. I mean, this is a guy who I don't think I've seen at uh, an event outside of um, outside of um, Hey, it's impressive. The obvious man. places. So this is a fantastic achievement for him. And, you know, Definitely. we'll see how far it goes after this, this match that's yeah. coming up. I mean, don't forget, guys, the winner of this not only gets 128 points, they get a spot in the regional qualifying finals there. You know, last time we saw Mr. Crimson, he he took his 128 and he got a spot there. So good. So it's going to be all to play for here. Um, after this one, guys, like we said before, we will be taking a short five-minute break. So don't go anywhere for now. You want to be sitting tuned. Stay in tune for this one. All right, it's going to be Chun versus Ken. Takamura versus um, CCL's got to be the strongest Chun Li in Europe right now. Oh man, you, you, you can't argue with the results. Yeah, yeah you, can't, very you, much. you can't argue with the results very at much. all. There's a lot that he's won uh, that people haven't seen as well with, yeah. with some of these tournaments we've been hearing about in France. Alright, let's get it. Wow! Just like that. Ready? With stand medium kick straight into target combo. Yeah, back medium punch. Oh, oh no. Didn't get the, the, the combo there. Oh, okay. Alright. Wow, dashes up and just gets that medium punch to follow the fireball. Chasing after Chun Li's fireball. Such a good option. The EX one. Oh, just like that. Ow. Plus one on block. That EX fireball. Nice. Get some sort of momentum started here. It's great pressure from Takamura. Can you punish that in V in V trigger? It looks like he, he's just thrown out the sweep, carefree. Yeah, he must be able to, right? Nice Man, punish. How many overheads? Guess so with that though. Maximum oh, wow. damage. Just like that EX dragon punch. Wow. Uh, I think normal would have still lived that one hit, but just make sure. Yeah. No well, nonsense. Yeah, exactly. You want to make sure. Get that kill. CCL, the, he just throws it out, man. We oh, saw man, it. We saw so against uh, Chris Tartarian yeah, versus lot. fighting. He just throwing it out. You know, he knows. Ken, he know Ken. You know, he wants to. He wants to approach. He wants to make that, that walk forward, that V skill as well. He wants to advance, and uh, the, that just shuts him down. Wow! Damn! What a Yo, jump. the stun, the jump, hard kick. This is dead. What an answer from CCL. Damn! Damn. That wow. was convincing. <laughs> what a round. Okay, one round apiece. Starts off with those instant air legs. All right. Oh, we had a big opening there, didn't yeah, take it. Yeah, he didn't really get anything. All right. Neutral jump. Wow. On point. So much damage. Ken, Ken's damage, man. Let's just talk about that for a minute. That damage is so good. Oh, wow. Walk up throw doesn't work. Missed his instant air legs. Goes under. 
This big is going to be a big punish. Yeah, minus eight, I believe. Oh, man, he could have done more with that punish, I believe. I think he could have killed. Yeah. And now Takamura, oh, I wouldn't be doing that. I wouldn't even approach right now. I, I would just chill. Why would you jump there? Oh, Takamura. wow. <laughs> no fear, just jumping in and then going for the overhead. It's wow. a big deal against Ken, you know, because... um. He's got, he's got, you've got to be careful as Chun Li what you choose to anti air with, even against Ken. As great as anti air is, that Tatsu really does change the matchup, man. Big shout out to Luffy. Yeah. Good performance from him there. <laughs> I don't need roses to win. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive. Right, so that is 1 0 now hey. to uh, Takamura. Takamura. It's probably the next favorite after Mr. Crimson. I mean, Mr. Crimson is only the favorite because he won the last one. Yeah. Know? So you imagine CCL maybe not necessarily as strong in a setting that he's not used to competing mm. in. Uh, Takamura, however, are very comfortable in this setting. Very and comfortable. Looking very good well, at the like, moment. Absolutely, man. Like, just showing fearless approaches. Mm. He will jump against Chun Li. Absolutely. You know, going for the overhead, he doesn't care. Like, that ending as well. Like, he just know, ra he ran and then jumped against Chun Li. That's normally suicide. You'd expect a bit more respect for a guy who just, uh, just won one ranking event. But actually, that's what makes you more dangerous and more more, more formidable as an opponent. Yeah, that's is true. not giving a crap. Not I having, don't care yeah. what you want. Absolutely. I'm going to run from full screen and I'm going to jump at you and I'm going <laughs> to put a tattoo out and confuse it. It was so it was so, it caught um, CCL so off guard. They didn't even try any kind of anti-air. Yeah. You know, she's got a few options. He exactly. didn't try any. He just got completely frozen I mean, by it. The jumping in uh, tattoo from Ken. It does actually have strange properties to it. It can make a lot of your normal anti airs whiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's really, yeah. really strange. Like, but he hadn't been abusing that throughout the set. Yeah, true. He hadn't so used it. So there's no yeah. reason for CCL not exactly. to still, yeah, you know? to try it. Yeah, but um, he didn't. Yeah, and in the end, the overhead was was even more cheeky than uh, that because it was the <laughs> slowest overhead setup ever. Yeah, <laughs> great play from Takamura. All right, he needs one more, and he will be eliminating versus fighting champion CCL, top of the European points for the moment, I believe. Going for the light spinning bird kick, not max max damage, but still a lot of Chun Li players do believe you need to be going for that medium kick bird kick ender every single time. Okay. But personally, I don't think it's you know too important. It's like an extra what ten damage or so. Yeah, I really don't need for the um, difference in execution. Okay. All right. Just keeping him honest. Oh, stays on him. Oh, oh resets it. just CCL's like that. <gasps> he drops oh. in. Wow, just buttons in between. Yep, nice. that's poorly spaced hard kick. Well that, was a, that was a punish, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh just man. a clean jump in. And he goes straight into the critical art as well. He's, he's going to take the damage he earned. And look at it, just adding up right now. Chun Li, 60% life remaining. Oof. Oh, man, that was unsafe. Huge. So unsafe. What a let off. Activates. Mm -hmm. Nice play there from CCL. Just throwing out that EX legs again. Oh, I could could have got anti air there. You need yeah, to be aware of those yeah, neutral absolutely. jumps though. Yeah. Oh, oh that me so me good. All over him now. Gets out, but he's gonna get punished and he gets thrown. Wow, just like that. CCL fires back with the answer. Man, that corner pressure was evil. Dominant fashion. What do you mean. Wow. CCL not happy with that first game, making sure his opponent knows he's in a real fight now. Jeez, that was a moment where CCL just showed him, you know, this is who's boss. I'm that the crap. I, you know, wake up, man. CCL yeah. trying to say to him, I won ranking events before. You know, <laughs> who this are is you? online. Who are you? Who are you, man? You're just chill, <laughs> online guy. Sit in the corner, hold this EX. <laughs> <laughs> right, well done, CCL. All right, we're gonna go into the final game now between these two. Remember the ranking? The is a bit different here for the online events. It's best of five, right? Until like all the finals. I think I read on Alex Vai's uh, blog. Is that top eight? Yeah. Okay. Eight. So I we're believe. in top eight now, I believe. No, no, no. This is um, the winner of this goes into top eight. Oh, great. So, so yeah. when we get into top eight, is this going to be best of five for the whole top eight, or are oh, we going to find that out, guys? Let's double so check that. Cause cause I remember, I remember seeing um, uh, reading that maybe only the losers' finals or something will be top eight. But in any case, it's going to be very exciting. We'll see who gets. Yeah, there. we'll let you know, guys. Um, Yep, so this is going to be the final game of this set, guys. Don't go anywhere after this one. We will be taking a five-minute break. Um, so stay tuned for now. All right, CCL here. <laughs> that 
answer he had for Takamura there, you know, he I think he's found the answer. It's just pin him down. Don't let him start his mm. stuff. I think he saw that dash run full screen into jump into overhead yeah. for a win as disrespectful. Disrespectful, as we saw yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he really made a point in that last game. Yeah. Wow, starts oh. off this one with a fierce and another. Just like that, the shimmy. Oh, in the zone right now. Oh, just smothering his opponent, Takamura. Oh, great neutral jump. Look at the damage on that from Ken. Activates here. Big damage. Look at this conversion Damn. from CCL. Max damage. Oh, this is going to be a big punish here. Oh. And now the next hit will take it. Oh, overhead. Meaty overhead. Blocks it though. And oh, that's going to be it. That's, that's going to be dead. Hit the panic button. Yeah, he did. Capitulated right there. That dragon punch that got him a, the game against Ryan Hart, you know, didn't pay off that time. Match point CCL. Using that back hard punch, such a damn good button. One of the best in the game, without a doubt, I have to say. Oh, beautiful punish. I love that punish. And now CCL in the corner, all oh, just wow. fires out. EX bird kick, no risks. Turn into a bit of a slugfest now. Doesn't care about that risk there. Oh. Alright. Crouch medium punch, V skill jab. It's like nice. Remember, it's all over if he wins this round. Gets his V-Trigger activated. Oh, oh my God, are you serious? What are you doing? Looking for that frame trap. Oh man, this is not staying still, Takuma. Oh, getting hit by fireballs now though. Juggle. Good block. Can I get through there? Just trying to stop this CCL pressure. Oh, dash up, wow. back car punch. Gotta be careful. If you jump pays off, oh, catches her. That's, That's it. What a confirm. CCL advances on in the loser's bracket. Takamura oh, B. Takamura looked like he had something off his sleeves there. <laughs> yes. He was, he was like approaching it very slowly and then getting back in. Oh, my word. Nah. How intense must that have been for CCL? But he's been there before. Very comfortable and able to pull through that one 2-0 against, no, sorry, 2-1 against Takamura and uh, move on to the place in top eight. Absolutely. CCL, no stranger to these uh, big tournament settings, man. This guy's been playing tournaments for many years. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe didn't see him that much in Street Fighter 4. No, he really. fell off, fell off no. a bit. No, he but wasn't really on Street Fighter 4. No, he, he wasn't. Really like no. it he liked Marvel, ironically. Oh, okay. Yeah, he played Chun-Li in Marvel. Mm. Uh, he entered that tournament left, right, and center. But not so much Street Fighter 4 towards the end. Uh, but well done to him. He's uh, doing well in this game, and he is now booked in top eight. So we're going to take a, uh, a quick five-minute break, I believe, Tyrant. Yeah. Um, you guys don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Remember to spread the word. You've got our Twitter handles yep. right here underneath us. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we'll be back soon for top eight.
All right, guys, we are back, slightly hydrated and fed. Oh, yeah. Full of that. energy, ready to get into this top tantalizing eight. top eight. Ooh, yeah. This is going to be good, boy. It's going to be you, so good. You know, it's very easy to not appreciate that this is actually a CPT ranking event yeah. equivalent. Because you're chilling at home or yeah. even as an entrance, you, you can forget that stuff. And even me commentating it mm -hmm. still doesn't feel like it's because I'm not used it's, to that. Yeah. It's, it's like seeing um, I had a you know, <laughs> conversation that you just highlighted to me of someone who hasn't had the best event here today and seeing the passion and the frustration in what they're saying it's, just really hits home to me. Holy crap. This is 128 point CPT. It's you, you, right. This could 128 be points without leaving your house. Without the effort of, of traveling, you're in your comfort of your own home. You're in your zone right there. So, I mean, this this could literally take one of these guys who was in the top 16 or who's in the top eight now to the event. This could to, be the yeah, points yeah. they need to actually qualify come, come, come you know, uh, November or whenever it's going to be confirmed. The, the name is for the final top 32. This, like, is, like, this is what huge. they need. Yeah, this is what they need. And these guys right here. The guys in winner's side right now, fantastic opportunity. Oh, man. All These the opportunity in the world right now. Humongous, humongous. This is a tough one, though, for um, I'm Still Daddy, I feel, because I feel like Infectious is going to go oh, into boy. his jump mode here, and I think it's a problem for Gar when, when Zangief does that. We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, this is um, definitely a problematic matchup for Zangief here. Got to get through this wall of sonic booms from Guile. Look at that gray health. Oh, you, oh, oh he was I like ready. The, I like the so usage there. But uh, he was ready for that one. Yeah. I like the usage of the air grabber. Yeah. Brilliant so far from I'm Still Daddy. And I'm Still a Daddy. Um, no slouch in this matchup. Took Itabashi Zangief down to the wire at a Dreamhack. A Dreamhack Summer. Had a great Dreamhack Summer for someone yeah. who didn't place in the top eight. He oh. Really he is just looking ready for all of Infectious and Arthur right now. Oh, okay, good block. Yep, negative oh, on block. Well Could have punished that. Oh, that jump was a bit late. Badly timed jump that. Too far away. This is great play so far from us, little daddy. Yeah, in fact, just, just looking like he can't get anything going. Oh, ready for that jump in and gets the throw as well. I like that. Walks under, just like that. Big punish. Reset now, that's all he can get. I can't even get that. Oh, he tried the bait oh. of flash kick. Oh, it's a reset. This could be what Infectious needs. Oh, oh man! Back dash there from Monster oh, oh, Daddy. Oh. Vital back dash. Wow. Let's get rid of this. It's distracting. Sorry, uh, some uh, female fans on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> just, just no day in life. Anyway, back to the game. All right. Wow, what a round from Monster yeah. Daddy. Yeah. So uh, Infectious is using these crouching jabs so effectively. He wants to get into the range and just. Oh wow! Great space. Look at the and damage. On that jump. Oh, 950 health, of course. Oh, oh my god. My word. And it's time to oh, guess. Don't jump. This is where you're going, don't, fam. Don't jump. Okay, oh, he still do it. Plus three on block on that. That medium gets the Sonic Boom string. Pushes Infectious away. But Infectious still looking pretty good right now. Oh, Whoa, man. So ready. ready. Saw the right gap in the between, right? Yeah. Saw the gap and just. Used it so well. Of course, Zangief in this game, no EX green hand to move him forward. He doesn't have he doesn't have any moves that propel him forward through projectiles. Oh, oh that's dead. Flash like kick, that. well punished. Mm -hmm. I feel like there was no need for it. I feel like he was still very much in that round. He was getting cornered. Absolutely. Flash kick came out of nowhere, but the impressive thing about that was it was able to be blocked. I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. Well blocked by Infectious. Very different round there. Yeah. Infectious looking like he's making some adaptions. Yeah, if he gets the right jumping guess, it can be so difficult for Garba. So far, I'm still Daddy has Oh, gone. perfect. Oh, I jinxed him. Perfect, just getting a lot, a lot more mileage now. Up close. Oh, what a change of pace there with DX. Oh, this Man, is going to be big. Spacing. Big Look damage. Look at the damage adding up. EX, reset. He tried to bait a flash kick there. Scoop. Oh, well punished. Catches the V-Trigger activation. And now Infectious looking in a good spot now. Oh, jumps forward this that's time. That's going to be it. I'm oh, still the daddy gets scooped up and that's it. For all the uphill battling that was being done there by Infectious, he's the one who comes out 
with the victory there. I mean, I'm still that he's got to be feeling some sort of way. Oh, man. Like, when you feel like you have the game like that, and the, then you just get hit with, like, one or two things that just take your life, just doom, 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 down in chunks, Zangief can just do that to you. So frustrating. When, I mean, he, when he hit that uh, crush counter V-trigger combo, so much damage on goal. You know, below average health, only got 950, but... And it's just a couple... That's what I'm saying about... What you said earlier was so yeah. accurate about patience. It's just literally... I think I'm still Daddy made maybe four mistakes that entire game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He can throw yeah. booms. He can he can make infectious block booms all day, but he's still not doing enough damage to Zangief. And when Zangief gets in, all it takes is that one opportunity. That's it. You know, and to be honest with you, if you tell me before the game you can make four mistakes this entire game, right, I'd be like, I've got I, I won right. Ex yeah, I, did, I won right. That's what happened. If you're telling me that's what, but against Zangief. Especially where Infectious plays it. No, that the two mistakes each 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 round, dead. That's it. It was it was the flat he did like a short jump or a jump with no button and a flash kick whiffed. The whole round changed. It's not an easy Lost yeah. a ton of health with a cross counter fierce into the grab and then the beer grab reset and caught him out of the air. I mean yeah. humongous difference. One mistake. So as good as he looks at times, that's what he has to keep in mind. So mm. we'll see if he can play the perfect match here without making that one mistake, but to be honest with you, it's everyone makes a mistake exactly. or two around. Exactly, it's so difficult, especially in this game where just split-second decisions can just cost you your entire life bar. And on the contrast, Infectious ran into Sonic Booms, jumped at the wrong time, maybe made about 12 mistakes that round. Yeah, but Zangief, you know, and a lot more room for, for error. Exactly. Mm, Still came okay. out the winner. Nice anti-air. Sonic Boom game being applied now. Oh, I like that jump with no button there. Yeah, that's really been making the big difference. Yeah, he could have even got an SPD there if he wanted. Oh, V-Reversal. Zangief, one of the best V-Reversals in the game. So good. That's that meeting kick has been his best friend. Keep him there. Just these anti -airs, this perfect play. This is the perfect play right now. Oh, oh no, too not late. You see how, oh. we, how we just, he just misjudged. Oh, oh wow. yo. Okay, oh, nice. So nice, nice, nice. Jab. You see how he misjudged his anti-air one time yeah, yeah. and it nearly cost him. That was, duh. he lost like 25 plus percent. Yeah. That, that one crouch fierce punch. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm surprised that actually kept him over the boom. Yeah. All right. Oh, the oh, crush count sweep. Safe, Safe jump. jump. Yeah. And look, Infectious just starting his, uh, and this is where it's really bad. This is going to be so hard to get out of the corner now. He can't jump because that anti-air grab, you know he's looking for it. Oh, I beat the anti-air. Oh, Again. huge. The panic button was so unnecessary there. This is near to death. It's going to be huge damage on Guile. Look at that. Off. Oh, oh, standing hard punch, Falcon punch, just like that. Good grief, Infectious. Two or three correct guesses. Whew. And it is lights out. Match point here. This is winner's side again. Again. Wow, it looks like the, the, the jump hard kick makes the uh, down fist trade. Mm. And the jump medium probably stuffs it if he's not careful. Nice, that's that medium kick has been his best friend. Oh. Beautiful choice of button and hard punch of his own. Yep. Zangief's headbutt does remove uh, projectiles. One hit. Flex is very comfortable playing the patient game. We saw him play Hugo versus Sagat. Oh, wow. Jab anti air there. Oh. Oh, that punished. Yeah, it did. Oh. It doesn't hold it down, though, so it doesn't get the actual fall. There oh, we go. Booms. We got it now. Yo. Just like oh. that. I'm oh, sort of daddy jumps away. So important there. Remember, so this is match point, Infectious. Neither of these guys want to drop down into the loser's bracket. Oh, back fist bad. Okay. The reversal. Just absorbing. Wow. Infectious. Not afraid to just absorb. Infectious is so difficult to finish off here. Yeah, he really is. Wow. Daring him to throw the boom. Look at this. And he's just building up. Oh, oh look at in. this. Infectious. Oh, oh. Wow. 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 Oh, what a nail biter. <laughs> How scary was that for us to the daddy? You know he's sweating right now, man. He's like, 
Jeez. That must be so intimidating. Just the guys just flexing. Then he actually <laughs> caught around one. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you were fighting someone that did that though. Nah, nah. You're telling me you wouldn't be scared. Tell me you wouldn't be scared. This guy like, turned. Oh, you're lying. This guy turned red. You're fighting a guy and you hit him in the face and he's like, nah, nah. and you hit him again. He's like, nah, I'm running a mile, fam. I'm uh, gone. Not on that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that was really, really Whoa. clever psychological warfare there from Infectious to try and make I'm still the daddy crack there and make a, a big mistake. Fortunately, I'm still the daddy. He had the, the mental stability to stay in there and not make any mistakes and close it out. But he, that was really clever. Yeah, it was. It was. Very was. intimidating style. And for, for both of them, I mean, just so scary. Yeah. Just yeah. so scary. I think the flash kicks, he's got to be careful now because those two mistakes around that are killing him, he got away with it. That last yeah, round. he did. He did. He got away with a flash kick and got punished a bit and managed to jump out and escape. Lost a lot of damage, but got away with it. Um, I feel like there's situations where he has a life lead even. And he's yeah. going for that flash kick. I think he's, he's looking got for the opportunity. For a bit, a, a few, just a bit less than he's doing. Just a bit less mm. to make Infectious have to work harder to make him crack. Mm, and and that, that could be the turning point. But you know, for Infectious, I think just keep doing the exact same thing. Walk him, stalk him down patiently. Stalk him down, yeah, take yeah. a bit of damage, of course. Get him in the corner and do your thing. That's the game plan for both of these guys right now. I mean, Infectious has one opportunity per round that's so vital. And that's the V-Trigger activation. He has to time that at such a precise point. But Gar with a character throwing so many projectiles. Um, wow. Oh, wow. Stand hard kick there. Corners him very early yeah, in this he round. Does. Yeah. This is looking bad already for, for Gar. Okay, nice V reversal. On the jump in, though, you know, mm. I hope if he, if he gets a read on that, he can SPD that. Good interruption there. Bad jab. Fairly even round so far, but the positional advantage is definitely an infectious this way. Nice, these anti airs. So on point. And tons of damage. That's time. Heavy kick trading with the Sonic Boom. Really useful. Good defense here from Arms of the Daddy. Yeah. But he's in the corner. Got to be careful now. Infectious eating some booms. Infectious. Not ready for the change of pace. Infectious can't find Oh, that was so clever yeah, was from Arms so nice. Daddy. Oh, nice. So play. ready. Infectious just can't find an approach. That was a beautiful play. Yeah. Another one of those rounds. Very similar to the first round of the set. Mm -hmm. This is Amstel with Daddy's stage. He's got his theme playing. Everything's going his way. It's now match point as well. Close this out here. Look at these. Everything's on point for him now. He's just free flowing. He's doing his thing. This just brick wall of the. Oh. Man, Flex. Great health. I'm still daddy wants it. In fact, he's not giving it to him yet. And he takes it. He takes all that grey life off. Massive chunks of Look, damage he here. Hasn't, he hasn't touched him yet. Oh, big jump in. I'm still the daddy looking to close this out. Oh, oh gosh, no. The reversal there, important. One more hit. Oh, what? Yo, oh, mistake. He we got, that was a huge mistake and it cost he's him done the it. game. That's it. I'm still the daddy goes on into winner's Finals. Well done. I'm still the daddy. Yo. Sitting in the points area big time in the winner's side here. A guaranteed top three finish now for him. Fantastic performance wow. from him. And his fans must be going absolutely crazy. So we know good. a lot of you guys were rooting for I'm still the daddy to enter the tournament. He's done one better. He's not only entered, he's finished at least in the top three here today. Such a good performance from him today. That, that, that play was just immaculate that last round. Awesome stuff. Or just brick wall stuff. Big shout out to St Staker Che. There with uh, RMZ, one of our UK's finest. Watching the top oh, yeah. eight. Commentated by myself and Tyrant. <laughs> Where's the mask? <laughs> I, don't know. I think he's in another country right now. So he's nah, he's, back, he's back now. He, he's was back. A, he was at Bracket Reset, yeah. Let, let's, let's, let's take a look at Tyrant. That, that last, the last 30 seconds or so that, pure, of that round. Pure control. Yeah, That's brick what wall play from uh, I'm Still the Daddy. Look at this. It really, there was an point where he took a lot of damage just trying to make the right weed getting in. So yeah. the booms keep coming at a certain speed. You know what I really liked? I don't know if it's this round. I think it was the last round, actually. But he gets hit by a few flash kickers, kicks as well, where that, that perfect timing where you've got the boom and the down charge time. Yeah. I mean, this was a critical moment here. Look at the gray health. The gray life just yeah. adding up, adding up, yeah. adding up. And then I believe back knuckle, oh, wow. yeah. Just caught him taking to the air. And you know at that, that moment, I'm still the daddy, just thought to himself, yeah, this is oh, mine. Oh, I swear it was a lariat. It was a lariat. And then back throw. The okay, but, but no, it doesn't. The reversal was so critical there. Yeah, that's not yeah, going to work. That was a mistake. I'm not so, sure why he did that. So uh, Infectious has said in the past, you know, I'm not afraid to, to, you know, to jump in a few times and get hit. 
But if you jump in every time and get hit every time, you're going to lose. That's it. You know? That's I'm it. Still a Daddy was just ready for that right there. Mm. Very well played from I'm Still a Daddy, really utilizing the strength of the matchup. Um, I think that matchup's not a particularly easy one for Gal. He probably has the edge, but mm. it can go wrong so quickly. Oh, as it we really saw can, yeah. Already, you know? Um, and not, no anti-air is reliable for, for the same situation every time, which is a big turning point when you're playing a guard in this game. You've got to pick the right anti-air from the right angle, from the right timing. Uh, it's, it's very difficult. Exactly. So well done to him. Uh, he is in winner's final. Infects is still in there. Drops to the loser's bracket. By no means eliminated, I think. <laughs> Make sure you guys in the chat. <laughs> get your... Get your <laughs> Please type out what you see. <laughs> Yeah, guys, uh, to have your, your tweet featured on the stream, as you see here in on Equal Medias, all you have to do is include the hashtag CPT2016, and you could be right there, as we see, all together now. <laughs> all together now, guys, come on. <laughs> all together now. Uh, he's in the city, and he's sitting pretty in winner's final. So, yeah, winner's final. Such a big performance from him. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have the UK's own, well, Cameroon's own, Hurricane. And he's going to be going up against a Kanu. Now, these guys play all the time. Really? Yeah, I know they'll play before. Yeah. And I think I said um, Hurricane was complaining about the matchup months ago. But how does he feel about it now? Oh, I think he's a lot more confident in it now. I okay. mean, Hurricane, uh, I know he's tried a few different characters. He's been using, like, Boxer and Bison. But, you know, Kami, you know, the, 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 the Shadowloo dolls, that's where his, uh, his heart lies. You know, he, I'm pretty sure he's, he's hoping DiCaprio for Season 2. You know, his DiCaprio in Ultra Street Fighter 4 was insane. Oh, man. That guy's so good. Ridiculously so good. Uh, yeah, annoyingly good. <laughs> and these guys are going to be going uh, straight in, I believe. Uh, just as we said, we've got Kami there on the left. You're going to have uh, Kanu using Nash on the right. So, uh, buckle up, guys. This is going to be a bit of a roller coaster. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of these guys. Who will book their place in winner's final to take on? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Look, the show oh. of respect, the backdash and the taunt. These guys play each other yeah, way these, too much. Yeah, these two guys are bros, man. <laughs> the show of respect there, that's pretty cool. Hurricane, of course, considered one of London's finest, but you have to remember he's from Cameroon, so French colonized their country. Speaks French fluently, hangs out with a lot of the French players, a ton hmm. online. Yep, oh, great gets, bait. That was a really nice, that was like almost a shimmy and a V skill at once. He walked forward and did the V skill. So oh, he nice. tried to play that out with the walk back, he didn't walk far back enough. Yeah, so good that V skill when you do oh, yeah. that range tower. So good, and it, you know, it goes behind, and it's it's, it's plus two as well. Yeah, and if it hits, you get so much damage. Oh wow! Okay, gets the back throw. Oh, oh stayed in front. front. What? A kind so tricky, man. Oh man, he wasn't ready for that full screen mix up. Great play there from Akainu. So used to be seeing that go behind. But, you know, you know, the answer for that one is whenever you see the, the V trigger activate, you just jump. You jump forward. You can't, you, it beats everything. So nice conversion there from Hurricane. Oh, it's getting caught stuttering. Yeah, where are you trying to go, man? Oh, look ah, at this. Hurricane is just on fire there. right now. Oh, damn. What a round from Hurricane. Firing back, man. You rarely see what Nash steamrolled like that, especially Akanu's Nash. Right. All right. Sonic. Trying to get something started now. Oh, delays the dive kick. So, oh, oh, what a delay on that cross underneath that. as yeah. well. So nice. Not giving him much time to react there. Man, he's all over a kind oh, of Oh, wow. Right that hit cross up. Okay. Just go underneath it. Has a corner. Slowing it down. Not really keeping, not, not throwing too many booms. Mm. He knows that Cam is one of the characters that can really punish for it. And now Hurricane needs to be careful. You know, oh, he could have reacted with super there. What a round now from Makainu. Yeah, really looking good for him. Needs to activate V-Trigger now. Yep. And now a, a jump back will get punished by Spiral Arrow. It becomes three frame startup and, and V-Trigger. you juggle as well, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, air to air right from Akainu. Good stuff. I saw Hurricane do that numerous times at Versus Fight, and he's not doing it today, though. Let him get away with far too many jump backs, and despite a really convincing second round, the kind of able to adapt in the first round and the third one and take it 2-1. He moves into a 1-0 lead here. 1-0 lead, okay. So you can see, I mean, 
that second round, I wasn't really sure what Hurricane was saying. This is such a bad matchup. It was looking fine for him. Mm. But of course, you know, you've got to lock him down. You've got to get that hit. If you can't do that, chasing Nash is really Not difficult. Battle, yeah, absolutely. It's not the character you want to be chasing with a life deficit. Not uh, at all. Not at all. In fact, he's designed to put you in that situation. Yeah. So. Especially when he's got meter, you know, he's got all those anti air options available. He's got, uh, you know, V reversal if things get tough for him. You know, he can just get out of there. It's strange. I feel like um, Hurricane did three times more uh, buttons and, 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 and open up attempts than mm. I kind of did, but kind of just, just so good at uh, making his opportunities count and, and punishing Hurricane on the Oh, day. yeah, yeah. He really made it count. Uh, so shout outs to Shin uh, Tweet. We've got English commentary for Capcom Fighters equals, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> 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 Only on a hashtag CPT2016, guys. Something Be tells me that guy's French. Yeah. <laughs> Be sure to uh, tweet us out, guys. Use that hashtag CPT2016. Uh, I am sorry. I am not uh, saying enough uh, different uh, words for you in the French <laughs> area. That's my, uh, my, my Luke impression. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> hey Luffy, how you doing? Uh, money match. Uh, <laughs> first to five. Uh. All right, so Hurricane with the all important color switch. Yeah, so important when you go one down, you gotta go back and switch the color, man. Oh yeah. Oof. Oh, the oh, juggle oh, oh. off the Sonic boom. Oh wow, that's so clever. He knew he was looking for a shimmy there. Stuck out of the crouch fierce to catch him walking back. Hmm. Little sneak on from Hurricane, but again, he's done a lot, but he's still behind here, health wise. Oh, wow, walks gets back, done. walks back, raw spiral arrow. Sure, he didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but hey, it paid off. What? Don't the knock hell? it. <laughs> God damn, paying off right now for Hurricane. Oof. Oh, delays the uh, dive kick, doesn't actually connect. Did it a bit early there. Oh, oh man, that sand jab. Shut down the, the drill with a jab? Yeah, you, mean, you, you can just see how ready Akainu is. Oh, okay, I think he could have punished that with VX drill, maybe. I don't even know. Minus 16, I believe. Minus 16, something, yeah. It's big, really, big really, minus. Really huh? negative. Oh, bazooka wow. knee. And it's, see, this is what I mean. This is where it's tough for Hurricane. Oh, man, this round has been horrible for Hurricane. It just looks like he can't get anything going. It's just eating the damage every two seconds trying to get forward. Ah, uh, then the cross up like it whiffs and it's match point of kind of go to sleep. Final round. Fight. All right. Oh, waiting for that jump and he's just so ready. Man, every button. Jump forward like it covered a tremendous angle for that jump. Yeah. Charles is that crouch medium though. Hurricane can get something started here. Really needs to. This is this is where Hurricane's so deadly, man. When he gets that momentum on his side. Gotta be careful how he gets in here. He had that momentum like you said. He can't just start losing chunks of health like he has been doing. Yeah, this is match point. He needs to approach this. Oh, he needs to be so careful right now. Gets an opening there. Super? No? Okay, saves it. Back throw. Back throw. I mean, I would have taken the damage there, definitely. Wants to kill now. Ready. Oh, he had it. Oh, that, ready. Oh, don't That's jump got him. Back. Oh, he gets a yep. trade. He got the trade. So he must have not pressed the button to begin with. Gotta be careful. I kind of got critical art. Oh, Just the there shimmy. Is. The hur hur hurricane has the best shimmy I've seen, man. This guy, he just so good at it. So lights good. you up with it so I many times. I think Cammy's in general are just I I extraordinarily frustrating to yeah. take pros against because their walk speed and their, and their positioning uh, and manipulation is so good. I mean, yeah. It's just the pace at which he moves at, I guess, that, that catches you off. But you feel like, at the very least, you're just going to take this throw I'm going to try. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you just do it out of habit. I mean, jump back uh, OS is really good against Kami. Really good. Really good. Um, you know, a lot of players need to start doing that a lot more because otherwise, you, you know, if you keep trying to do throw tech like that, you're just going to get blown up. The risk reward just isn't worth it. I mean, the great thing is, if you get thrown, she does that. Yeah, she doesn't, in mid-screen, she, she doesn't get, get anything. But you did see, actually, she does get a meaty. She does get a meaty... Um, Meaty drill, which we did actually oh, see yeah. Hurricane try yeah. and do, and no Cammy does it. That's it's, true. It's quite hard to time. You get it right, and you're, you're 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 safe. But mm. he went for it there, and uh, there was no quick cry. So it's good to know that there's one or two Cammys trying it. Meanwhile, shout outs to our brother Damascus here. <laughs> SF5 <laughs> and up? chill, steak and shay, ramshaft, with uh, yourself and myself at home. So that's good stuff, man. Be sure I to tweet us out, guys. Are all together, then. yeah. They're all in, a, in, in like a bar or something, or something watching this, you yeah. know. We're, we're live at an esports bar. Woo! Shout out to all of our friends watching uh, watching the stream today. 
Shout out to all the countries. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We had Pakistan yeah. earlier. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Tuning in, guys. So if you're from anywhere less common than Pakistan, let us know because I'll give you a massive shout out for that. Always cool to know what nations are tuned in. All right, so straight back in here. 1-1. One, one. Both these two friends, you know, have a lot to play for right now. That winner's final position is so vital. Oof. Don't want to lose your winner state. Yeah, right you now. don't. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Doesn't convert the combo. Too far away. Big damage on Kami. Wow, Russia and New Zealand in the stream chat. Massive shout out. <laughs> Planet Namek. <laughs> 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 nice, okay. Anti -hat EX side. We'll have a look at some of those, uh, some of those areas later. Back to the game. It is looking like another uphill battle here. Hurricane just trying to close the distance. Oh, oh my god. The reactions word, from Akai. Right now, so ready. This guy is playing on fire. Match point Akainu again. Double dash from Hurricane, trying desperately to slow down his momentum. Oh yeah, he don't. You don't want to get let Nash get anything going like that. I mean, this is his last chance. His last round before you know, he has to win this to stay in the winners. That crash medium pick has been his worst enemy. Yeah, crash medium kick from both of these characters. Really good option, actually. Oh, tries to keep go behind to keep him in the corner, but Akainu prepared. Mashing that jab out just to stop him from doing anything like that. Scythe, safe. Well spaced. Oh, Acc accidental, yeah, accidental dive kick onto the boom. Jump back, tech OS. Gets All right, right situation. activates. Oh, man, he's just out of there. Oh, almost a perfect jump in. Oh, big oh, mistake. Big mistake. That's a punish right there. Oh, good oh, bait. Oh, the bait. And now be the end. it looks like Hurricane might have cracked here. There it is. That's it. The second juggle point. Akainu books his place in winner's final <laughs> versus I'm still a daddy. Gal versus Nash. A historic uh, match up there. I Gal mean, versus Nash. Yeah, I mean, that match is canon, right? We'll see what happens to this one. I mean, uh, whew. Big shout out to Genkan. Awesome tournament so far. He's uh, rooting for Akainu. Well, there you go, my friend. You got your wish. He's in winner's finals against yeah, I'm Still the Daddy. There you go. He's doing good. He looked solid that last game. Oh, man. He, did he Very ever? solid that so last good. game. So good. Let's take a look at some of that. Some of that. Some of that. The brick wall defense. Yeah. That, we, that we, whole last game, I felt like I was just watching Hurricane jump and walk forward and just running into stuff. And to no fault of his own, just, just brick wall play from Akainu. In, out. In, out. Buttons. In, out. Juggle. In, out, 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 in. Yeah. You just don't know where the hell he is. Shake it all about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You put your left foot in. <laughs> Sorry. You set it up. Jump that? back OS, yeah. Just as, it's almost like he heard what you said. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's really important against Kami. You know, you don't want to be caught with that shimmy. Uh, just be lit up for so much damage, you know, when you can just get out. Just just move. Take take whatever punish might come if, if, if they get Just like that. Look, the EX Scythe. Such a good anti-air button move there. So good. I mean, there's no invincibility on it, but it just works so well as an anti-air. He used it really well um, earlier as well, reacting to an EX cannon uh, air, airstrike from, from like yeah. point blank range. Oh, yeah, yeah. His reaction is non invincible move. That's That's got to be really, really well timed for that to work. Because it will get counter hit and stuff. Mm -hmm. I kind of looking great. Mm. I don't know much about the matchup. I know um, when you get different versions of an original character the original character tends to dominate and you could argue that Nash is a version of Gaal but I think I think Nash is the stronger character easily in this game so yeah I would that, say without doubt we saw DJ versus Gaal I mean DJ was clearly brought in to be like a kind of like a Gaal in yeah, yeah. he was maybe up there with him but as the games have evolved DJ was trash yeah you know, <laughs> garbage <laughs> Gal, Gal, Gal was, was, was pretty much something to watch out for. He wasn't the best, but... So I'm not expecting this to be a match... I don't know nothing about this matchup is why I'm asking this. But right. But I'm not expecting this to be a match where, where Gal, the kind of original Sonic yeah. guy, has any advantage. I mean, like, it's hard to say. You know, Nash has the tools, you know, to deal with Gal. He's, he's got the, the scythe. He can go over booms. Mm. He can absorb booms and build up his V-gauge. And, and then once he's got V-trigger, man, you can't throw any more booms. You can't throw a boom. You That's can't it. throw a boom. You're done. You're done. So he can basically, he, if if Gal plays the way Gal normally plays, Nash can potentially build up infinite V gauge. So you need to. He's going to have to take an approach there. Approach. I'm looking forward to that one. 
I'm looking forward to it too. It'll be interesting to see how well he knows it. Also, some serious rivalry between those two guys. There is, yeah, yeah. yeah. You would not know about it unless you've been to some of these European, European events, events or watched yeah. some of them online. Armstead of Daddy strongly believes he had the better Gaal, the more original Gaal, and Akainu was just a fraud, and Akainu the same, same way around. So I'm looking forward to that rivalry. All right, but more to the point, we have Real Menace versus MDZ Jimmy's. It's 0-0. Ignore that 1-1 one, one at the top. That'll be reset shortly. Yep. Um, this is the first game in a set. MDC Jimmy's the surprise Ooh. package in this uh, this weekend CPT online delay event. Back. I like that delay oh, back throw. Nice oh, safe jump there as well. Nice choice there of he has to turn it around there. Good conversion as well. Oh wow, just jabbed and interrupted there. Oh, the delay dash. So hard to see that from Chun Li. Really, really big problem for everyone today. I've been seeing that hit everyone in but different matchups. Both of these characters have the option to do yeah. that. Yeah. Stand jab NCS, stand short NCS. Wait a second. Dash. Dash. Yeah, yeah. Wait. The same, same as Cami as well. She can do that dash behind. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Back throw. Now Ryu in the corner. Nice mm. reaction. Ooh, okay, real man is just throwing out the legs. <laughs> Maybe a mistake there. They're sitting on a full critical arc age, you better believe that. Looking at Jimmy's life right now, he's definitely going to go into it. Mm. Jimmy's slowing down some of this uh, real man play. Nice EX5, all connects. Ooh, just trying to catch him, pressing something with that forward hard kick. Oh. oh, oh! There we go. He got him eventually. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be dead. Time we will use the critical art. Actually, this critical art does not do that much damage. I don't know if he's dead. No, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he, no, he's You're not. You're joking. Yeah. Oh, what? How did he block all that? Wow! Did you see all that? He, he just danced on top of Ryu's head and then like stayed in front somehow. Can you bring us back. So much to do. Not even got V trigger. What? Really? Get the just hell out of here! Like that. <gasps> Oh. Nine seconds. Nine seconds remain. Oh, oh crouching medium really kick. Was like, what's it gonna happen? <sighs> wow. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you were talking about DJ, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate the warning, Ben. But uh, let's be honest, man. DJ was trash. <laughs> <laughs> Not only was he trash. But they nerfed him again. They nerfed him again. <laughs> it was already trash. So, you know, let's, let's just accept it, man. They, you they, know. they took away, like, that, that wake up uh, he had. So, yeah, he's... Look, Jamaican's got a lot to celebrate right now. You know, we saw them in, in, in the sprints, in the Olympics. Uh, they got tons to be proud of. But DJ is just not one of those things, unfortunately. <laughs> DJ's actually one of the opposite. <laughs> Poor DJ, man. That guy, again, they nerfed him again. Ah, Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> You've not heard that one. That's what they said. Yeah. What was it they said about? Are you from Jamaica? What you say to a girl? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Girl, okay. So bad. <laughs> Why'd you ask that, big boy? Because Jamaica me crazy. <laughs> hey, those lines actually work. You'd be surprised, you know, because it's a terrible line. But the girl laughs at least. <laughs> Conversation star. Conversation star. All you guys struggling with women. Boom. There you go. F words first tip. <laughs> but listen to this guy. <laughs> Hey, 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 I've had my, I've had my successes. I've had my successes, man. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back into the second game. Enough, try, enough, enough nonsense. <laughs> <talk. laughs> Me just being a twanger. Round one. All right. All right, let's go. MDZ Jimmy showing, showing some real flashes of brilliance, brilliance, but it was all a bit too little too late, Tyrant. You know, he's, got a, oh, yeah. he's got a start the way he ended that uh -huh. last game. I love that hit confirm yeah. with Solar Plexus. That was beautiful. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's, he's really impressed me this, this tournament, to be mm. honest. Jump back OS there, looking good. Uh, back throw, re really pushed to the wall the corner. That standing hard punch, that medium punch, Chun Li's space control, just so good. Mm. You know, she's got all the tools to just keep you in check. Fireball, that's just an amazing move right there. I think the X Fireball. Must be the best wow. move, in, the best special move. It's so good. It's she just gets so much from it. It's just so good. Oh, catches him with the throw. 
Oh, he tries to do a shimmy there, but a bit autopilot, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, unfortunately, yeah. that particular shimmy, you have to commit to the hard kick. Yeah. You can't see the throw and then press it. Well, maybe you can, but... Uh, crouching three-frame jab there from uh, Real Menace. Okay, right, guys. Max see, point, Real Menace. Who's going to advance? Who's going to go home? I say go home. I keep saying that. They're already home. <laughs> They're playing from their rooms. <laughs> oh, just the, the dash in and out. The Hokey wow, Koki. Wow, is he the hitbox in that crouch beer? Oh, he walked into that, actually. All right, back throw again from Menace. Getting a lot of mileage off that and so much damage as well. Another uphill round here for MDZ Jimmy's. So it might not be enough for him now. Playing catch up again. Gets that jump in, though. Good little sequence here. Good punish. So ready that only a five frame start up on those legs. Activates here. Oh, overhead, it, buddy, overhead. Catches in, that's it. Th he's done. Wow, he's been a, a, a joy to commentate on this weekend. A real, really yeah, impressive yeah. player who, you know, probably had the label of being an online specialist. But I think today we saw that he's very capable of competing in tournaments. Unfortunately, that is the end for MDC Jimmy's. Yeah. Real Menace continuing his reign of terror here in the loser's bracket. Hey, he yeah, on. I mean, he, he was showing a lot of advanced techniques uh, in his games there. You know, he, he, parry on the V-reversal, for example, parry on, on the limb from Dalsim, jump back OS. Uh, all, all these um, very good techniques that you wouldn't not see your normal online Ryu be using. No. So, yeah, he's definitely got um, got some tech there, man. I, I learned a few things about yeah. Ryu watching him. I was really impressed. I think, yeah. um, I think he's a very good Ryu player in this game. Really mm. good Ryu player. Definitely, to watch out for. definitely a good performance uh, from Jimmy there. Um, yeah, he streams on Twitch, so stop by, check him out. <laughs> so I just saw one tweet saying that uh, we got three events on at the same time: Brazil, US, and here. Here, yeah, wow! Uh, three ranking Europe. events. So the um, expect the leaderboards Amazing. to change slightly, guys, at the end of this weekend. So many points off. Of oh grabs. yeah. And what's this about that that look? We have been a picture of Claude. Oh, brutal, brutal. Um, so good. So um, take a look at some of the last few few seconds of that last game perhaps I mean it wasn't too much to look back at just because it was so dominant unfortunately for MPC yeah we can Jimmy's. do that but what made it dominant what made it difficult he had some momentum at times and it just got shut down like here he's activated V trigger he you gets the EX legs that's so important to have that punish on lock because that's yeah. a real momentum stopper and look how much damage right there. Head, yeah you need to be looking for that when he activates V trigger overhead, yeah yeah absolutely I mean it's so, so scary against Chan because you block low you get tagged you block high you get tagged it's never easy. If you go further back, actually, if we go back to right there, right there, right there, and we see this round all over again, and you see this domination here from um, from Gabe, Gabriel, sorry, Real Menace, he's really, really feeling himself, yeah. dashing in and dashing Ooh. out. Catches him out there, has a huge life lead at the moment. That back throw was a, was a big how deciding factor. How many that? times he right. landed that, yeah. And MC, M, uh, MDZ Jimmy starts to you know, dictate a little bit here, right? And the reason I wanna, I wanna stress this is because what he's got right now is mm. momentum. And I think it's not it's not a character thing, it's a player thing. Very important. Look at this momentum. Momentum. Yeah. Here's the opportunity to stop it. Oh, Boom. that now, was a now, beautiful it's punish. Really important that you know you you got these punishes, you've got these situations. There's mm. so many people though who aren't doing it every time. But I really gotta give a massive shout out to um Real Menace for being ready for that one opportunity he had to punish the unsafe fireball with a special move. Oh, it's yeah. very easy to punish an unsafe fireball like a sweep or something. Like but but to be ready to, to to do the input for a special move and get the full punish. Hey, exactly. Uh, well done to him because that changed that. That round was running away from him a bit, and that, hey, that, that just ended it for MDC Jimmy. Absolutely. I mean, the next match we're going to have up for you guys is going to be Luffy, Red Bull's own, wow. up against CCL. Believe it or not, this is a losers bracket match. Losers bracket time. match. We're so used to seeing these guys if up. You'd have told me the two names in winners and the two names in losers. Yeah, I would have switched it around. Switched it around, With yeah. all due respect, because yeah. these two guys have been right. putting, putting a rain of terror on everyone. But the two guys and winners have been so phenomenal today. Akainu and uh, I'm still daddy. It's actually Luffy and CCL sitting in loser's bracket battle wow. for survival right now. That's crazy. So, of course, it's going to be Rainbow Mika up against Chun Li. And we're going to see another Chun uh, in action now. You know, I'm really liking. Um, you know, before the start of the game, it was like, oh, Chun Li just Chun Li. But some of these uh, Chun Li matches today have been pretty exciting. Mm. Like, they've yeah, been pretty they've hype. They've been pretty fun, yeah. Yeah. Since we started, have we lost any Chun Li's? I think we started um, with two or three. I don't think we would. Well, I know. I think they're all in. They've all been, they've all been yeah, they're all impenetrable. St still rocking. Mm, okay. So those of you who watched the Stunfest will remember I interviewed Luffy when he showed such impressive um, 
form against the Japanese players. And asked him why does he jump so much against Chun Li. Back then he said the risk versus reward is heavily stacked in my favor if I jump. I'm just gonna keep jumping. Now I don't know if that's still the way he plays the matchup because Chun Li gets a nice little mix up after your jumping. Yeah, she does. Um but it'd be interesting to see what his approach is. Well, there he's jumped there. Yeah, he jumped there. Oh, he actually. Oh, he predicted the downfall. That was three. actually. That's that, unlucky. That, that, that covered a few options, actually. Desco. Just waits it out. Oh, oh, oh. He, choose, he chose not to jump there. Luffy was banking on a jump. What the Great pressure from CC. Oh, wake my up, days. Wake, wake up, up shooting teams. Peach. Wake up with that. That does not have any invincibility, guys. There's, there's armor on it after the third frame. But if you hit, hit her before that. Tell you what, a free frame startup isn't bad though. It isn't bad at all. Yeah, that's true. It's like hitting someone with a wake up jab. Mm. You press the button too late. Very good point. Wow, Luffy opts in for these uncharged drop kicks. Yeah, it looks like he's finding them a useful poke. Nice. Great oh, whiff punish. Yeah, that's that not was easy to do. That's like the most optimum thing he could have done, for sure. Maybe a jump, but. Alright. Ooh. Just trying to get that. Uh, I'm not sure what he was trying to bait there. He's trying to bait something. Maybe an anti air? Yeah, I think he's trying to bait the anti air. Reset. Stays in front there. Oh, wow. Oh. Confused the hell out of CCL. Yeah, Luffy drop, drop that combo. Reset. Oh, oh, man. She might die here. Yeah, she's dead. This, she's is, dead. this, this is damage on this. Look at Done. that. Wow. Jeez. Luffy. Very comfortable first game here for yeah, Luffy. Yeah, comfortable. It's to be harder because... CCL, of the two of them, CCL is definitely a stronger player at the moment. Yeah, CCL got the results to prove it. Mm. Um, but hey, Luffy takes it, man. Like, Raymond Mika's no easy feat to deal with. No. Especially when you've got a guy with, like Luffy at the helm, man. It's Especially when you've got a Rainbow Mika who's not really command grabbing. Because uh, when they do command grab, yeah. you're not ready for you it. You never expect it. So that was such a guaranteed ending there for, yeah. uh, for CCL, unfortunately. Like He just waits till they've got that perfect amount of life that the EX throw is going to take. and Smart play from Luffy. 1-0 lead he moves into. CCL mm. needs to impose himself a bit more, I feel. he's um He's been a bit too passive in that first game. I feel like last time I saw these two play, I can't remember what event it was, but he kind of overwhelmed Luffy, really stalked him down. I'm not sure if he won in the end, but he definitely took a game right. and was looking very strong at one point. Okay. So, so I think you've got to get in there. You've got to remember, Armika has a hard time on wake-up as well. Yeah, she does. As much as she puts people <laughs> under pressure on their wake-up, yeah, she, she, she really suffers. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, she's, she's, still, she's still got a three-frame button. She's got the EX shooting peach. You know, like we said, three, the third frame has armor yeah. afterwards. Um, and even wake-up V-Trigger from Mika is really, really good. Really good really because good. it just stops what they're doing straight yeah, away. It's not like the Ibuki bomb where you hit her and it doesn't come out. That exactly. It's coming, coming out. No matter what. It's coming. So, um, yeah. It's not easy to deal with. All right, here we go. Okay. Nice read. Yeah. And now the command grab oh, start. Bro, this is where it starts. All right, just uh, neither player overcommitting here. Lands that slide again this round. Oh, beautiful neutral jump. So, so ready for the, uh, yeah. the drop kick. Yeah, a couple of drop kicks he got away with. Started reading it now. Yeah, CCL saying. Chun Li can no. grab medium kick there. Ooh. Yeah, an easy punish every time. Okay, back dashes away. Minus two on that, so there was not a true punish that Mika could have done. Wow. Oh no, this is this is looking real bad right now. Shooting Peach, activating the Desco. Oh man. It beat, it, oh. That's dead. It beat the EX. Been in bird kick, so there was literally no way out. So much going on at the same time, but yeah. It's not like you can hit Nadesco. No, no it's, it's, it's gonna hit you. Completely invincible thing that hits you. Yeah, and it's crazy because um, Luffy was so ready to then just tap and come on, grab. Yeah, after. it's like he predicted that outcome and just went with it. Nice, very ready. Oh, it's the meaty here. Oh, just does the lay back throw, trying to bait in the next bird kick, perhaps. That button, back hard punch, man. He it's loves that, doesn't oh, he? The dash up back so hard punch. So good. Five active frames on it, plus two on block. He's had some great spells in this set, but he's actually staring at the feet here. It's match point Luffy three rounds straight. Mm. He the fourth one. And again, Luffy has the life lead. CCL just really struggling to get anything moving. And finally gets the tick nice, for his connect. Yeah. Wake up button slows him down, though. 
DX now. CCL is on the bears. Time for it. Didn't come. Activates off the slide. What's this going to be? Just, just forcing him to block. Just building up a bunch of gray life. Back throw. Wow, he's so hesitant. Wake up overhead. That's, That's not going to work. CCL's heading out of the event. Wow. Luffy. Red Bull Luffy. Damn, CCL oh has God. been eliminated four rounds straight, Tyrant. He will not be collecting. I would not have guessed the that. The amount of points he would have hoped for after coming through that big game against Takamura uh, and earlier on, uh, we saw him in the winner's side. He is now out. I wouldn't. Event. I wouldn't have guessed that. Like, the, the, considering the last time they played in tournaments, CCL really had the edge. Yeah. I wouldn't. They, that was very convincing. Yeah. Yeah. Luffy it was ready. More like uh, the CCL we saw at Kaka Top. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah when I he remember. Was, you know, yeah. He was like, you know. Very, very, he was like the three points at the event. Mm. He has become such a beast since then that you just definitely, yeah, definitely. We're, we're all very surprised to see uh, to see that go like that. But you know, take nothing away from Luffy, his yeah, performance, you yes, really, just, really solid, just too solid, too confident, too strong. Made everything difficult for CCL and every opportunity he had to open him up, he made it count big time. I, I mean, he was so ready, just the, the you know, the anti air on the and the legs every time. Uh, you know, the, 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 the brilliant V trick activations, the command throw reads, just all on point. Big shout out to Ho da Dameron? Dameron? I guess, yeah, Dameron. Guessing. Dameron, I guess. Let's say Dameron. Ho Dameron. Loving a shimmy fire. Shimmy fire. EU shimmy fire five. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty accurate. It is a very, very shimmy heavy game. Thank you for your tweet. Keep tuning in, guys. Once again, if you want to have your tweet featured like Ho Dameron here, it's hashtag CPT2016. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you're seeing. Yeah, tweet us out, guys. Uh, let us know. Let us know how you're enjoying the event. Oh. Oh, he's a ho. Oh, in the most respectful way possible, because that's actually his name. Of course. Yeah. I don't men that really man. mind being Come on now. that anyway. <laughs> compliment, compliment where I'm from. What we got coming up next, T? We got, we got a bit of a blockbuster here. We're going to have Real Menace rocking at Chun-Li. He's going to be going up against Infectious. Oh, man. UK the on UK Crime. And this matchup, not good for Horrible. Zangie. This is This is one where... You know, a lot of people would consider switching over. This is a hard one. Yeah, this is definitely a hard matchup, man. Like, without a doubt, like Zangief struggles. Yeah. Like, it's, it's that simple. He struggles. You know, Chun-Li with all the tools to just stop Zangief doing what he wants to do. I mean, it's just going to be, this must be horrible for Infectious because he's just had to play that solid brick wall guile. And now he's got to fight Chun-Li in loser's side. Damn, that's that's it, a tough it's break. The life you choose when you play Zangief. Yeah, when you play, when you play exclusively Zangief, yeah. The problem is, is not really... Um, that you have hard matchups, right? Because hard matchups are like going to happen anyway. Uh, the problem is he has very hard matchups. But in addition yeah. to that, it's one of his harder matchups. Is one of the most popular characters in the popular game. Popular characters, yeah, you know? you're right, absolutely. There, there were some matchups in 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 Street Fighter Four that were really bad for like you know your character, but you didn't really give a crap because you just don't see those characters, man. Yeah, you just don't see true. them anywhere. Yeah. But how can you have a freaking guy whose worst matchup is probably the most popular character or at least the top two most popular character in the game you're going to be coming across Chun-Li's left right and center yeah definitely one of the best characters in the game without a doubt if not the best I mean a lot of people have, have you know, that, that debate has been going on yeah yeah it's I up think, there man I, I think like she's back up it's, it's back. people are now agreeing again that yeah. she's the best and yeah, you know, uh, to be honest with you, they've got a balance really well in this game. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Even if she's the best, you can still destroy her uh, with good skill and reads. And, and, you know, she doesn't necessarily overwhelm people with her strength, apart from maybe this matchup. Yeah, I mean, this is looking, oh, just looking tough for Zangief right now. And he just want to keep, he, he wants to keep those fireballs on the screen at all times. He wants to use those standing hard punches, as you can see him use the stand medium punch, crouch medium kick, just all these buttons just to stop. Infectious doing what he wants to do. And it's just looking like, look at this, Half-Life already. And, and and there's Real Menace, okay, I was about to say Real Menace has not been touched mm. in about 40 seconds, but. Finally got a hit. Finally, yeah, but but still look, that one hit and he's just. You know, a really interesting thing about the domination is it's not costing her ground, mm. which is a big deal. Because at the very least, if you're playing an uphill battle, like with Gal, you're walking him to the corner for some reward. But, you know, She's not really losing much ground at all. Okay, whiff punish attempt there, just a bit too far. So it is possible if Zangief's thrown out that half punch. Don't forget, guys, you can whiff punish that. Just look for it. Okay, he's starting to push her back a bit now, which is great. But massive deficit. Yeah. Oh, and she's out, and she kills. Dead, yeah, dashes under at the last second. Really hard for Zangief to deal with that because, of course, 
Uh, EXSPD, no invincibility on, invincibility on it at all. Unlike in Street Fighter 4, where, like, you know, if they were doing that kind of thing, you could just do it. Like, it's gone from this game now. Ooh. Oh. After all.